our intermission. Gotcha. Once again, shout out Clutch Radio for um, giving us the divide cast. Hey, Steven. You know what I'm saying? And let's give a round of applause clutch. again. One more time for Duchess. For Duchess. Hey, Duchess. Duchess. For Duchess. Miss Crystal. Miss Crystal. Thank you, know you for sitting with us. I think, she, I think she lying about her age. She look 30. She do. She, she look mad good. If y'all didn't know, Word. she looks mad good. I love, I love Miss You mad. You, I mean, Miss you mad exaggerating, son. <laughs> I mean, Miss Chris. Shut up. Your, your flattery is I mean, too I mean, obvious I mean, right now. Yeah. Let's get, let's get that to man. Let's get that to Hey. Yeah. Hey, oh. Let's get around the plug. I don't think you got no underwear on. Do you see Duchess? This is how he introduces himself to you. Say no. it again. Wait, 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 no. Say it again. I said, I said, but I don't think you got no underwear on. That's how he introduces oh, himself. So, let me just say, yeah. I'm one of those type of girls that like to match. Right. Bra match. I feel you. Panties match. 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 Panties What's good? Wait, hold on. Wait a minute. We gotta ask her what's in her fucking cup. She got in her she fucking cup. It's what is rum? It's, it's, it's what? Ocean spray. Ocean spray. No, oh, ocean spray. Ocean spray. Yeah. Ocean spray. Wait, what? No. What the fuck? Ocean no, spray. I don't know. What she is, got specific I'm on not brand. One of, I'm I'm the type of this. I don't like to drink. Preferably, mm-hmm. my habit is. You know, smoking. So I'm not really a drinker. Oh, oh, so I'm right. not really good to tell you what what is what and all that stuff. Now we in the kitchen. I might can tell you some things. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh. yeah. They I say you can cook. You can cook it. Say you cook. I can cook. Uh, Wait, what's your so favorite dish to cook? Good. You Honestly, I don't have a favorite. You got a favorite? All right. So what? Like, it's I like I like what I like whoever's favorite I'm cooking for. Oh, mm. sure. How, How you cook for that? How- how you cook? Listen, yeah, hey, like, yo. Right, I like, like shrimp right, scampi. Right, right, right. uh, yeah. I like, I like, I like, what you like? I like shrimp How you cook your yams? Yeah. How I cook my yams. Yeah. Number one, I get real organic grown sweet potatoes. Okay. And I okay. boil them. I boil them so long to the point where the skin just peels off. All right. Peel the skin off and then I actually hand mash them. Yeah, hand mash them. Wait, she a yes. real cook. Yeah. No, like for real. That's a real cook type. You got to have brown sugar. Um, I love raw sugar raw. with it. A little bit of honey, a little bit of vanilla, a mm. little bit of nutmeg. Mm. And um, listen, don't give your whole fucking yeah, no, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm gonna leave keep it right some, there because I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna, yeah, I, 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 you yeah, know, like, bit, I'll let y'all have it right there. Right right there. Right right there. Right right there. Shout out to DJ Shark. DJ Shark just walked in the building. Shout out to DJ Shark. What up, DJ Shark? What's good? I need a beat. Can I get a beat? I only got a dollar though. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah, got yeah. I can pay you one dollar for a beat. He ain't say shit about that dollar. He ain't say shit about that dollar. Right now. Right now? <laughs> I'm gonna put on Dutch's tab. I got it right now. Dutch's don't got no tab. Oh, see? See that? She, well, you know somebody do the shoulder <laughs> rug. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know that shit official. I ain't got no fucking tag, nigga. What are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? Damn, y'all cussing. I'm trying to stop cussing. Are you trying? Are you trying to stop oh, cussing? Oh, you with the wrong people. Yeah. Oh, I'm about man. to say, you with the wrong people. Gosh darn it. I'm going to make this my last day then. Okay, bet. Right. That'll, that'll be Yeah, fun. because you got to curse on this show. Because I like to be my motherfucking self. Yeah. Right. <laughs> 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 the motherfucking self. Leave her in, Sean. That's first. Leave her in, Sean. Both of your motherfucking self. You know what I'm saying? You know the way this part about that? There, there was a mother daughter check that y'all didn't actually see. Word. She said she's gonna be a mother for example, like she's like she looked over at y'all and Mama Chris looked back and I was just like, Yeah. <laughs> we we missed that. No point to that. I can't work. We missed that. See? Hold on, Mama oh, Crystal. No. What did you do, Mama Crystal? Well, I don't know what he's talking about. She took my some eye contact. She said when I cussed, you looked over at me like. I did not. Oh. But that's because we already had this discussion. I had this discussion with the entire tattoo shop, yeah. everybody in my life. Yeah. And I let them know that like after Christmas. Christmas Day is gonna be like my big change. I'm gonna stop smoking and I'm work on. Stop no, you're not. Too. No, you're not. You're not gonna stop smoking. 100. percent Why are you, why you gonna stop honest. being part of the earth? Why, listen, that's what I'm saying. Weed is part of the earth. I need, I need a break for a moment. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. Everybody and yo, and to be fair, like everybody needs they, to each they, his own. They need their break from different Some stuff. Some people at need times. to take a break and don't know that they need exactly. to take a break. Exactly. Shit, exactly. At least I know I need to take a break. Yo, but listen, we so grow those from the too. Earth. That is a natural. It's a beautiful earth. thing, but I'm yes. gonna be honest with you. I just need to know, like, 
I'm at this point in my life where I need to know my power and my control. So yeah. certain things I need to know that I can cut on and off like a light switch. Yeah. Yes, I can. Okay. Right. I, I I feel that. I mean, well, when I, I when back. I used to smoke weed and shit, I mean, I, I felt like I had self control. Word. Yeah, and I cut it off when I wanted to. Right. You know what I'm saying? Can so, I can I give a story? Can I give a story right quick? I can't can give a story. Give a story? I know it's not about seconds. me, but everybody got like a weed 90 story. Ninety seconds. Everybody has a everybody weed story. Everybody has a weed story. Yeah. yeah. Everybody has a weed story. All right. I'm gonna ask Duchess what's your what's your weed story? Everybody has one. I got one. When you first started smoking weed story? I'm just just a I mean just one weed, weed story. story. No, I got a million weed stories. <laughs> so, uh, give me one weed story. Who the one most famous story? person you ever smoked weed with? Snoop Dogg. That's like a given, but like honestly, like who I can't even say because they can't even they, they can't, can't even be known that they, they smoke. Known. Oh wow! But when I tell you iconic, legendary, word, word? legendary, yeah. Jay Z. What do they do? No. What do it they was do? Russell yeah. Simmons. They Russell. was doing it's one yoga. Of the most Russell Simmons. He smoking in Russell yoga. Simmons. No, no, it's, it's one not. of the most. Yeah. Yeah, in no my opinion, sure. you have a great opportunity in front of you, Duchess. In my opinion, <laughs> one of the most amazing, most influential black females in our culture. Like, very powerful. Huh? Yeah. Very powerful. Who? Wow. Wait, I, I missed that, that whole segue. He said, she worry. said, it's Oprah cool. rolled the joint. She said, I did not say that shit. <laughs> <laughs> <We're> not, <laughs> not, <laughs> not, <laughs> that nigga <laughs> is straight <laughs> on <laughs> bullshit. Wait, she said, you Oprah on the stoop. A, you get a blood. Y'all so funny. You get a blood. Girl Scott cookies for everybody's <laughs> going to get a fucking blood. This is crazy, son. I'm done. Why? <laughs> Wait, wait, wait! What was that from, though? I that forgot. That was from an episode. Yeah, of Oprah, Oprah, right? Right? Yeah, the fuck? <laughs> yeah. You work weird ass hours. You be watching daytime I'm TV and you. shit. That's iconic, legendary. I'm about to that's, say it. that's pop culture history, though. Yeah, Why would you know that? You don't know. You get a car. You get a car. You, everybody oh, got cars. Oh yeah. See, I, that this shit threw me off. Nah, bad. it's over. Me, I don't know. You don't need no more. No more. No more punch. No more punch. No Thank you. See, Duchess we was it. trying to. Duchess, had, we we try to put him on the limit. Every gonna draw the line, right? I'm a grown ass man, dog. We got kids. So we gonna go to questions. No, not yet. Not sure. No, I was about to say, what kind of questions? Dead, dead. Let's see, see, dead. They got the, y'all got your questions ready? We ready, y'all. No? Uh, so, no, hold on. Miss Janae said, I got so, them ready. Hey, let me ask We're you. not ready yet. Let me ask second, you. Y'all. This, this is the thing I want, like, I think a lot of people want to, when you, when, when, before everything happened, before you became, before you hit that wave of momentum, did you know you was going to hit that wave or was you like, man, I don't know if this shit going to work out. Like, you know, most people don't know. So you know what the problem is? Some people do reality TV because they have this big dream of thinking that their whole life is going to change and they're going to be famous. Yeah, facts. That was never my dream. Mm-hmm. I never wanted to be famous. I kind of felt like I'm a country girl. Yeah. I'm from I, I Lincoln, no North Carolina. I'm language. hunted with it. I'm from Lincoln, North words. Carolina, baby. 704. Mm-hmm. Like, Charlotte is where I spent some time, a lot of my time, too. That's a Jay-Z line. Especially growing up. Jay-Z you know what I'm saying? So for me, oh. like... Coming from the country and having the best of both worlds, experiencing the city life too, mm-hmm. it just kind of like changed how you do things and how you think about things and how you move with things. For me, coming from Lincoln to North Carolina, which is like this big, yeah. my dad was the first black firefighter. Wow. Oh, wow. Like, Word. Yeah, so I come from a very strong name. Yeah. It might not be nationally known, but where I come from, yeah. my father... Is that nigga? Shout out to you. you what's that? What's that last name? That Lattimore. 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 Facts. 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 Shout out to shout out to Lattimore, the first black mm. fire firefighter. Yeah. 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 But like, you don't know no Johnsons, do you? Mm. Out there. Uh, we not about to do. Right. We not. <laughs> we not. <laughs> it's done. Mm-hmm. We not about to do it. <laughs> right. No. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway. But let me go back to like like my dead ass though. Like, my history with my family is kind of, like, strong where I come from. Yeah. My mom was a brown belt in karate. My aunt was a state champion in track. She a brown belt? Like, I come oh, from athletes. I come mm. from intellect. I come from really great things. So, I felt like I was famous even though I wasn't famous. Yeah. But where I came from, I was the captain of the basketball team, captain of the cheerleading squad, National Honor Society, Beta Club, like mm-hmm. top 10 of my class like I was 
relevant. Yeah. Before you could, I was relevant. Yeah. And it might have been on this big of a platform. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But when you feel like you mean that much to people, when it gets on a bigger platform, it don't really change. It it's don't really change the you. same yeah. thing. Yeah. yeah. So for me, I'm not no different than when I was when I grew up. I'm the same person. Anybody that knew me before, like who like DJ Shark. Mm-hmm. Shout out to DJ Shark again. Yeah, like DJ Shark, Shark, he know me before I was famous. Yeah. And he'll tell you like I'm the same person I was back then. Like yeah. I ain't never changed because that stuff don't really mean nothing. Like yeah. I got a million, I got 1.3 million followers on Instagram, 1.8 million followers on Facebook. But like, can all of them give me a dollar? Word. And then Word. we can say that. For that? Yeah. You feel That's me? Dope. Then I can say that I can brag about that shit. Yeah. I can like make that shit seem relevant. But like even in one of my tracks, I say like. I just want the money. Fuck the fame. Yeah. Right. Like, I don't give a fuck about a million people knowing me. I need that million dollar check. Like, yeah. I need that bag. So, I'm different than a lot of people that decided to be a part of that um, reality show that I was a part of. Because a lot of them got on it because they had the dream of being this big old superstar. And I'm going to be honest, like, reality TV is an amazing platform. I'm mm-hmm. forever grateful for my experiences on Black Ink. Yeah. But the reality of it is, is, like, you're a reality star... Like, not to shit on nobody, but my nigga, I know niggas that work at Bank of America that make more money than everybody yeah, on reality right. TV. Yeah, one, one, so like, shout I'm, out to one BA say so Yeah, right shout out like, to you real know what talk. I'm saying? Like, my I'm, I'm, just, I'm just not about to be caught up on your hype because everybody else is caught up on your hype mm-hmm. when I know people that their life is way better than yours. They right. they financial stability is way better than yours. They ain't got to make a fool of the, out of themselves just to get that next bag. Yeah. Like it's just certain things that I got a different type of respect for, mm-hmm. and I think a lot of that is coming from the South. Mm-hmm. That's dope Having that you family, said, like going to a HBCU, like that shit make you think about shit differently. So you know what I want to know? Like where did your love of music come from? Where that? Cause that just uh, to me that shit came out of nowhere. Came out of nowhere. It fact. came out of nowhere for you. Like, uh, yeah, I'm I've been knew that man. for you. I'm just for the people that's like me. What the okay, fuck so the love for of music the people like from? you, um, my brother was in preschool. I played I played the piano at his uh, preschool graduation. Mm-hmm. I've always been surrounded by music. My mother's father, my grandfather, he was actually part of a gospel quartet. My aunt Tonda knows how to play the bass guitar. My uncle plays instruments. Like, I come from a very, very strong, musically inclined family. I did music before I'm doing it now. I did music when me and C's was first together. Mm -hmm. But the support system that I had was not what it needed to be for me to have the confidence that I Mm, needed to really put the energy and time into it that I'm doing now. Mm -hmm. When you're surrounded by positive people and good people and people that just like, I ain't talking about yes men. Yeah. I'm talking about people that dead ass tell you what's real and give you like that food for your soul type shit. That shit make you better and make you grow and it build up your confidence. And that's what I needed for me to even get the courage to put something out like that. Like, I'm a tattoo artist. You don't have to see my artwork. Mm -hmm. A lot of my clients, I tattoo all the time. Mm -hmm. I don't post that on my page. Why? Because it ain't for y'all. It ain't for my followers on Instagram. Sometimes these tattoos are for the client. For them to have that personal connection with whatever we had to talk about during that time frame of us having that creative expression. It ain't for everybody all the time. Facts. And then a lot of times people want to be so critical of your shit. It's like... How the fuck dare you tear something down that means the world to somebody the fuck else? Who yeah, the fuck are you? Right. Yeah. So I'm just a different person when it comes to like the comments, the critics, and my creative expression. Like I'm a I'm a tattoo artist. Yeah. I'm a visual artist. You see my shop. Like yeah. this is Try a visual. Ink. Thank Try you. Ink. This is a visual representation of like my dream, yeah. my goals, things that I love, things that I'm passionate about. And if I can do that in this platform, you mm-hmm. think I can't do it in another medium? Yeah. I love that you just about that. Like, I like, love that you you're authenticist. That's that's that's, that's what a, you're well, authenticist. Honestly, like, think about that it. Yeah, that's what an artist is, though. Oh, is that a word? Like, even when you get dressed in the morning, sorry, baby, but when you get dressed in the morning, like how I am when I get dressed in the morning, that shit is like. Let like, see how her face lit up. Yeah. <laughs> like, nigga, when I get dressed in the morning, nigga. No, because if y'all see my house, y'all be like this. Nigga here. <laughs> I have. You got walk-in closet. I have three. You got to as a that's uh-huh. a woman. Got to have a walk-in <laughs> closet. That's the first thing. Like, hey, when they get a house, 
Yeah. See, look, I, have three. Three. Look for a I have three right. walk-in that. closets, and two of them are in my master bedroom. Ah, shit. Please. What the fuck? So. God damn. I'm a, yeah, her square feet fucking bedroom is bigger than a lot of motherfucking apartments. Right. I ain't gonna lie, my bedroom is <laughs> like, amazing. She rent out the it shoe shack into a nigga shack. for six twenty five a month. <laughs> Oh, you don't even want to go into my shoes. No, so in no. one closet, one closet I keep all of my sneakers. They're all in clear plastic boxes, so I know what it is. Yeah. Then I got like Where do you my, get that? my LeBron's right here, my Katie's right here. I got my ones, my all organized. Oh, she like got them to. I just want to know where you get clear jersey? shoe boxes. No. Clear yeah. shoe box, the container store. Thirty dollars for twenty something boxes. Then that joke got some shit like he that. Got, a lot of people have yeah. that. A lot of people have right. that. That wanna like. Have I, a nice creative, I I right? So do you be licking the bottom of your shoes like, just to show off? <laughs> no, I don't never do all that nasty shit. But then in my <laughs> other closet is like where all my like sexy stuff is, like my red bottoms and my you know yeah. my Chanel. The shits. And, I call, yeah, I call and those my Versace's. And I call all those the that shits. Good sexy that's stuff. A, that's the shits. So that's what's in that closet. Yeah. And then my other bedroom, I have like my winter coats is in one closet. Winter coats? It don't get that cold for winter coats. Well, you got to understand Charlotte. I lived in New York for 10 years. What part of New York? Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. What part of New York? Why, how dare he come for what me? What part of New York? Dog, she was on, on. TV. I don't, I don't be watching this shit Where like Where you that. from? I don't, I don't be watching from New York. Where like you from in Brooklyn? 93rd and East, East Rutland Road. Oh, this nigga's over in Flatbush. That's the fuck out of You ain't even fucking, you ain't even fucking from Brooklyn. You from East. You from Flatbush. You can't oh, from you she from pulled Flatbush, the car in front of all the Pantherites. You from Flatbush. <laughs> Shout out to Bobby oh, Schmuck and Roddy Rose. Hey, hey, you know hey, hey I mean? Slim. What's that part oh. past Flatbush? Wait. Flatbush. No, no, that's not Flatbush. That's East Flatbush. That's, Flat, that's Canarsie. You in Canarsie, nigga. Hell oh, no. That nigga, that wow. nigga, know, that nigga neighborhood look just like him, Valley. Oh. Oh. You're not going to cover my neighborhood. Your screen door slapped slap back on the hinge. That nigga's neighborhood <laughs> look just like him, Valley, y'all. No, 93rd and Rutland is nowhere you, near Canarsie. What are you talking about? Well, he said your projects ain't real, so she bro, said. That's nowhere near Canarsie. So, bro, let me, let me tell you where I live. Where? Ooh. Get it. Where? J line. Oh, uh, that's fucking junction. Ooh, no, it depends on never, the junction. never, never did I stay on sound the junction. Junction. Sound, the junction. Never. Sound like a highway or something. Okay, uh, hold on, go ahead. Sound like a highway. Or hold on, hold on. The J line. Okay, J line. Where? Where? J line. Just the rest. Quincy. Quincy. I don't know. Facts. Quincy. Oh, Quincy. Facts. That's Best Stuy. That's Best Quincy Stuy. and Malcolm X. That's, be, that's uh, Best Stuy. Uh, 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 I know you are. Same block that um, Do Best the Right Stuy. Thing was shot right on. Thing. Yeah, that's, Quincy, that's Best Stuy. Legendary block. Same block where a lot of niggas was shot on. Facts. That too. That part too. <laughs> that's Best Stuy. Right. Might be getting shot right now. <laughs> Fuck around. <laughs> Fuck around. <laughs> wait, wait. Don't, um, what's his name? And, and, uh, hold on. Let me get, let me get, let me get you one better. Too many. Let me get you one better. What? I worked. Where? On. Where? Where? Don't. Where? 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 Graham Avenue. Oh, I, oh, yeah. Right, right in people front be. of Boricua Project. That's where people be. Yeah. Oh, Graham Avenue. That's where oh. yeah, I used to go the Foot Locker and shit on Graham the, the Avenue and shit. Get my sneakers and shit. Nigga, I was, yeah. right, I was right upstairs from the Foot Locker. You right upstairs from the Foot Locker? NBA tattoos. Right there. Oh, oh, shit. That's where I got my start at. Nothing but that's ass. Where, matter of fact, that's where I got famous. Y'all think I got famous from Black Ink? No, I got famous from NBA tattoos. Shout out to Puppet. That nigga was the hardest, roughest, most... I love you, Puppet, but I'm going to be honest. Most piece of shit fucking boss I ever had in this fucking tattoo industry. That's, that's and that nigga that made me a boss. That nigga, that nigga made me a motherfucking boss. Like, I love the fact that I've been on this TV show, but I hate the fact that some people think that they can take credit for my success. Yeah. Because, right. nigga, I was motherfucking that bitch on, in Brooklyn. You yeah. hear me? Right. I can go, go to Brooklyn right now. I got niggas that'll lay you down for me. Oh, shit. That's Not because there. of no TV shit, my, but because of the love I have shown in the motherfucking yeah. hood. Yeah. Because I grew like, up nigga, um, I've been in the board equal projects doing tattoo parties till four, five o'clock in the motherfucking morning. Oh, she gets that's, that's how I got my start, my nigga. That's I'd good. be at the tattoo shop tattooing all day, mm. leave from there, be in the projects, tattoo parties, till so four, you know five where in the some morning. Of the projects is at. What? That's yes, why, I know what some of the projects That's where I grew up at. Yes. As a, as a little yes. picnic. Yes. Some of the projects. A little yes. picnic. So you can't tell my me gee. about nothing over let there. Let me tell you. Some of the projects. Let me tell you, let me tell you my first day going yeah. to New York. Oh, shit. See, we got we have, we got an intel. We got a Thursday. Ah, Thursday. What's that word? It was a Thursday. Telepathic. Okay, right. Telepathic. That's not Get it. your shit right. That's and that ain't even, like that ain't even the right word. Yeah. Facts. What's it? What's the word? Anyway. She sound like she's more from New York than you. 
Facts. He like, yeah, I used to ride the. Uh, I was on the ferry and shit, and I ride. <laughs> no, but look, my first time. I decided I was gonna move to New York. It was on a Thursday, and I was like, man, I'm about to just move to New York. Fuck, I'm about to. That's my how homegirl did. Kate Ross was living in New York. Shout out to Kate Ross, distinguished Carvat. But I was like, I'm moving. And she was like, well, I got a couch. I'm like, nigga. That's a start. Yeah. Nigga. Yeah. Start. First off, me and Kate Ross lived together in college. So, nigga, couch. I know she might not even be there some nights. I can sleep in the bed. Yeah. Like, I feel like life is going to be kind of decent. Yeah, I ain't yeah. tripping. I'm going to be in New York. As Fuck it. As long as got yeah. some place to yeah. sleep. My yeah. nigga. Yeah. On good. Saturday. I'm in there. I'm in My nigga, from there. Thursday by Saturday morning, I was in Burlington, North Carolina at my spot with Tip. Shout out to Tip. My nigga, Tip. Shout out. But I picked up my Acura and I drove for the first time. I've never been in New York City my yeah. entire life. Oh, shit. Never in my lights. life. 20 some years old. I never in my life been in New York ever. And I just drove, packed up my car. And I got there, and my phone died, and my, <laughs> and my charger broke. That's the worst. Word. That's the worst. And I you got lost. Butt neck. No, you know what? That's a blessing because it. But ass my neck. nigga, your ass over. my nigga, I got lost. Over. Guess where I got lost at? Where? Marcy Project. Marcy? Nah, it's not. It wasn't that bad. Nigga, you a fucking liar. Wasn't that liar. bad. What, what year was this? Fucking liar. Nigga, it's like ten this? years ago. He, he not from New York, is he? That's 2007. Is that him? I ain't talking about New Jack City. You say he from Jersey? I ain't talking about New Jack City. You you from Waterbury, Connecticut, nigga? But wait, you gotta understand. I am from Lincoln to North Carolina, nigga. Oh, coming from there, from Lincoln. What the fuck, nigga? I'm from Lincoln to North Carolina. Marcy was I ain't never seen a project. It wasn't that it bad in 2000. I've never seen a project my whole life. It was like, that's like 30, that was don't matter. 30 double wide time. That was 88 when Jay-Z you know made it. But you got to understand, I never seen none of this shit before. I never seen a crackhead on the corner. Wait, did you see the ice We got crackheads. Now, don't get it twisted. Everywhere got crackheads. Yeah. But crackheads got certain codes in certain cities. You feel me? Certain certain cities, the crackheads stay in the crib. Wait, hold on. Right. You, you, you haven't... Then you got certain cities where the crackheads just run wild. They, they every motherfucking shit. You way. haven't had the New York experience until you've seen the Icy Man get shot. Have you seen the Icy Man get shot? I've never seen the Icy Man Nigga, I've seen one get robbed. I've seen the Icy Man get shot. And, and, and remember, and like in a park, because like the kids now, they don't know about the shit. In a the park, they got the little barrels. That, right. Mm-hmm. And you go in the side of barrels. And then the Icy Man was like, dee 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 Icy shit. Right. nigga, yo, this nigga just went in the black. I remember it like it was yesterday. He had a black trench coat with a black cat. Just walk up to the Icy Man, pow. Shot him. No, Dead. That's just shot traumatizing. Him in the head. That don't shot mean that you from chest. New York. You just was. No, no, no. That was just traumatizing. No, that don't mean that you no, from New York. No, Chill that shit used to happen so, all the time in some of the projects. The black guy. We used to call him the black guy. And the, the icy man stopped icy. coming around because the icy man always used to get shot. The icy man. Yeah, it was a regular thing. The guy in a black coat with a black cat. That's like the Like, used to get shot all the time. You know how many cars the Chinaman lost in Brooklyn? You can't get out your car and leave the car door open for about 4.5 seconds. Oh, no. No way. Your car gone. By the time you slam your car door, somebody in it and it's on its own. Oh, 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 I feel you sorry for your mother. Yeah. What you say about my mother? Yeah. No, why one time I thought my car got stolen though. Your car got stolen? The Acura? No, no, it was the fucking parking police. They the fucking told my shit. <laughs> With the, Nigga, uh, I went outside like, my car done got stolen. What the fuck? They done took my Acura. The three wheel John? They told it with the three wheel John? <laughs> <laughs> The three wheel, the little cart joint. Okay. No, the cart. They told my oh, like, car what? with a motherfucking record. Oh, oh shit. See, when you said the parking police, I don't know. See, we don't oh. know. See, parking police in New York is five vote. They, it ain't uh, no separation. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh wow. Them five niggas vote. will beat you, lock you up. They like you. sheriffs in Florida. They do everything. Them niggas yeah. do everything. They might drive it later on too. Like when they damn go, right. But yo, hey yo, we got a panel of sitting guests that they came here all the way from their perspective lives to come here and sit in with East us. East Charlotte, you know South Charlotte. You know, so we want to get to them. We want to get to their burning questions. We want to get to their burning questions. So when we go ask y'all, we want to. You, 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 you're going to yeah, stand we up. Yeah, we in three so we don't know. We don't yeah. know. We gonna stand up, ask where you from, and you're gonna ask your question. You got two questions to ask, Miss Duchess. You got two. We, hu- Ashley, wait, he said, hurry up. Which mic? What, this mic right here? Okay, so we're going to stand it up. 
Are you gonna say your name? Where you from? And you're gonna ask your two burning questions from Miss Dutch. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. We can hear you. Regular guy doing regular things. Look, stop fucking shaking the shit so much. I'm not. I. I. So, it's Benji Cinco. You said get my Instagram too. B e n g y underscore Cinco is spelled correctly. Hey man, don't interrupt me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. B e n g y underscore Cinco. C i n c o. Yes. Uh, Duchess, do you prefer a city man or country boy? Country boy! You better, you better say that shit. Oh, shit. You better say that shit. I ain't gonna lie. Okay. Hey, yo. Wait, hey, yo. wait, wait. Can hey, I say hey, something about hey, that? Wait. Hey, that nigga. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Wait, 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 wait. I want to say something about that, though. Okay, go ahead. So... I used to think that I wanted, like, this city nigga because I grew up in the country and I'm like, man... I need like this adventure. Yeah. And then I went to New York. I had an experience. And <laughs> for me, I had I no similarities that. to this person. I didn't but that. I had grew up, I had grew so attached to him that I was okay with the fact that I had no similarities. Yeah. yeah. Like, why are you cheesing so much? I know, I know, you see it. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Okay, okay, okay. 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 No, I'm reminiscing about what's going on now. Oh, oh. She gave me that it look. It ain't like, no history. I'm, uh, uh, I'm reminiscing about yesterday type, get into type that. situation. Yesterday. Get into oh, that. shit. Not, not, not the past. I'm talking about the present. Oh, okay, get into that. Because it's a gift. <laughs> Get into, get, into get, in, get into that. Get into that. That's juicy shit. Get into that. Get into that juicy shit. Get into that. You hear me. You hear me. Get into that juicy shit. You hear me. Wow. I mean, okay, so look. You answer this question. So look. All right, so look. Like for me, having a country boy, for me, I love a gentleman. So I want a, a man that knows how to talk to his mama, know how to treat his mama, that know how to spend time with his mama. And a lot of times, people that grow up in New York, y'all know how it is. Y'all don't get to see y'all families like that because the hustle, that daily grind, they got to get that work, they got to get that bread just to make sure you can survive. So the family structure is completely different there as opposed to here. When you have a man that grew up in the type of structure that I grew up in, he's going to want the same things that I want. And he's going to be okay with those things. Yeah. Like, it was a problem for me when I was in my past relationship and you don't want to go to church. Mm-hmm. Like, niggas I talk to, nigga, the nigga I talk to now, he pray with me. Oh, like, shit. Like, you feel what I'm so saying? So you pray like, together, you stay together, I told y'all. But it's, it's just... Blushing. She had blushing. She like, her, ch- her dimples light up, lit up. She's like, her nigga right. stay with me and pray with me. But, right. but, but there's just happy. certain things that... I stopped appreciating because yeah. I started being okay with being in an uncomfortable comfort zone. Yeah. yeah. I was okay with being uncomfortable because of people. Yeah. Oh, my stop God. stop moving the fucking mic? God damn, nigga. It's falling off, young boy. How it's falling off? It's falling off the table. Because it, No, it's falling because off. Keep, no, leave it like that. You keep moving the shit. Young boy, good. listen. He had to talk, and we got to talk. I'll chop your goddamn throat in this place tonight. <laughs> I love my throat. Hey, what we just no crimes about tonight. We yeah. was talking about praying. Talk praying. That's but, talking about praying. You're talking but, about stuff. But, but in all seriousness, though, yeah. in yeah. all seriousness, so violent. though, yeah. I've, I've Don't see. allowed myself to not really care about what I really, really wanted in a yeah. relationship because I was caught up in everybody else's hopes for me. Yeah. Like, oh my God, black love, da 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 da. Like, it's black love to y'all, but y'all don't know what I'm going through going, behind closed yeah, doors. Exactly. Y'all see this facade of this reality show and think yeah. that everything's fucking perfect in this relationship. Yeah. And I'm sitting here smiling, even though as soon as I get off the camera, I'm crying. Yeah. It got to the point where people was like, why do you look so miserable? Because yeah. I dead seriously look miserable. Yeah. Now you go to my page and you be like, this motherfucker happy as hell. She's yeah. smiling. And but that's how you kill like, all the negativity. Like, with positive. I'm so happy right now. I could not even care about the shit that they talk about me. Mm-hmm. Like, when people hit me up and say, did you hear what such and such said? I'd be like, no. Mm-hmm. Well, you want to know? No. Yeah. Like, my nigga, my life is so good. I don't care about that. I'm mm-hmm. far past that. Like, so far past that. So the woman to- I am now is so different than the woman y'all saw on TV. But I, I needed to I- see that woman on TV. Yeah. So that I could grow into the woman that I am. So I'm yeah. not at all like bothered by it. She's a ruined it for every nigga north of the Mason Dixon line, is yes, what she's saying. Yes, I mean, it's so over. Fuck. Yes, the it's fuck you did. Over. <laughs> 
you got to be a country boy. You got to come boy. over here. So what's your, what's your next question, baby? I just, want, I just want a picture with you. Is that cool? Of course. Oh, that's and, not yay. All right, all right, all right, bro. Sit your ass down. No, hey, no, 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 question. Hey, y'all always look. Okay. See how they treat you? You see how they treat you? I tried, I tried, Benji Adam. We got one more question from Hay. Nay, nay. Uh oh. Hey. We got Miss Janae. What's up, baby? Hey, Janae. Hey, Janae. No, I'm going to touch her. I'm going to touch you. She ain't worried about you. Listen, you got to watch it. I'm Nay. You can follow me at Nay24 underscore seven. That's my line. Nay, hit me up. Yes, Nay. But my question is for all the boss women who trying to do something, you know, what is the advice for them? You know, not to lean on men, but to do their own thing. What would you tell them? Oh, good question. Good question. Amazing man. question. <laughs> Honestly, the best thing you can do, and it sounds like mad cliche. I feel bad to like say it because people be like, "That's what everybody always say." Like, you really, really have to love you. Loving you is like so much bigger than just like loving you. Loving you means like everything that you want has to happen first. Before you breaking your neck to do this or do that. Before you sacrifice. Like, I'm going to be honest. that That's my number one problem. Like, I'm a giver. Anybody that's around me, they'll tell you, like, I am a giver. And I give freely and I give willingly. So, I don't know how to say no. Does that, and you, sometimes, you know, that's what gets me in trouble. I'm about to say, do you feel like it slow you down? Sometimes. But the, the reward that I get, like, seeing people be, like, that's the type of shit that make me feel good. Like, sometimes that don't make nobody feel nothing. Sometimes it make them feel like the world. But, like, you got to really love you. And loving you means, like, to its entirety. Loving to you. To its entirety. Like, I, I'm going to be honest. I was going to sing it. Shut up. But I didn't want to interrupt. Anyway, look. Loving you. Can you update Duchess on what we do? Damn. Okay, so I ain't got no headphones. Just, Are you loud as that, shit? Shit, that shit came out of the blue, so she's like, "What the fuck is he doing?" So <laughs> no. on No Advisory Podcast, right? There's always a song to a certain phrase, of course, right? So when you said "loving you," so I said "loving you," of course. So that's a song. So I got, I got a point. So you, you, you feel free to chime in if Anytime. you hear something. I got you. And you know what I mean? I got you. And, and join the, and join the, I got you. I got you. You, you. Really you don't even be I making no songs. But see, but but back to your question though, like you really gotta love you. And that means, like, do everything that you want first. And everything else that you want, it's going to happen. Yesterday, I, I had my a real-life experience with that shit. And I spoke my mind, and I spoke what I wanted. I, if you know what you want, don't settle. Mm. Don't settle. That's loving yourself. Yeah. If you don't settle, that's loving yourself. If you know that this is what you want, but... This person ain't bringing that. You already know that it ain't what you want. Because this is what you really want. Like, I had to tell somebody, like, look, this is not what I want. And I am not okay with it. And I don't want any parts of it. So if you can't be the way that I need you to be for me, then you can't be there. Right. And guess what? Motherfucker either going to get with it. Oh, they gonna get lost. Get with the and and both y'all me. gonna be by y'all damn self is oh, what's okay. gonna end up happening. Well, see, sound so, like so. Let me tell that you. That sound like no, no, let the me reality. Tell you. Let me tell you. Let me tell you what really. No, no, like seriously, that's some bullshit. Because I I I stepped out on faith. I don't do that type of stuff. I just be like. I just ignore your phone calls till you just be like. Oh, right. I'm not gonna till call you give you up. Anymore. Like a telemarketer. She yep. treats you Stop. like a telemarketer. <laughs> No, Bob, I'm not interested. <laughs> click, click. So what's your second question, Miss Nate? Yeah, yeah. You got one more. You got one what's more? your second question? I got one more. Talk, talk, to, talk, talk to everybody right. here in the mic. We get you some. I, you I like Nate. I like Nate. I like Nate, I like Nate question. <laughs> nah, because I had to think whether this is appropriate or not. But then I'm like, so it, so this is it, don't right, so it don't matter. It's it don't matter. matter. So I'm going to ask this. It's my other side. The best ganja you don't have steak. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! She from the West Coast. <laughs> Where you from? Where you from? Right. She from Tacoma, Washington. In shit. North Carolina? No, no. just in general. Where? In general. Mm. Is it easy? <laughs> nah, I got you right now. I got you right now. See, see, for a smoker, that's not a hard question. Cause yeah. you already got your pinnacles already. Boop, boop, yeah. Right. For me, White Lotus. White, White Lotus is uh, grown in 
like places like Oregon or Colorado where they have high altitudes. Yeah. It's growing at like 30,000 altitude and it's all organic water. Oh, like shit. alkaline water where the pH is like an 8.5 or higher. I got to smoke. So like that. when you like for me and see like for me to even know all of that let you know I know my shit. So okay, so like, what's I'm the not, highlight I'm not though? Just the, huh? What the high be Who's like? My G like see. Her, what the high I hate like? I hate highs that make you feel like you in a coma. Right. Yeah. Like I don't want to feel like I'm stuck and I can't get nothing done yeah. for the day. I want that high where it's like, oh yes. <laughs> like I'm on cloud nine. You're functional. Yeah. Like she she hey. I'm about to sing, I'm about to sing cloud nine on them, but like that vibe that that it's just like you gonna still keep shit going, you gonna still be positive, you gonna still be moving, and life just be like lit. So I would say the white lotus. Every day we lit. Best. White we lotus. Shit. We appreciate you, yeah. Nene. Whoever got Where you that from? white Where you lotus from? though, Where let me from? let me get that. Raleigh. That nine one nine. I'm up to two. I'm up to two. Thank you, Nay. Nay, Nay. Shout out to Nay. Shout out to the whole we got here. What's your Shanita. name, Boo Boo? We got Chanel. Chanel. We got Chanel. It's, it's Chanel. Nope, Chanel. Sorry, Boo. Hey, Chanel. Hey, y'all. Hey, Chanel. Okay, so I'm I'm an artist. So from an artist to a tattoo artist, what is your favorite subject matter? So if you could, you know, sit there and tattoo or draw, sketch out whatever you whatever you wanted to. What would it be? Mm. See, me, I'm an artist artist, so it's like not just tattoos. Like, my my Malcolm X painting is over there. That ballerina right there is mine. Like, I paint too. So, like, for me, it's, it depends on the vibe I'm in. Yeah. I'm a vibe. I'm Listen, a vibe. Cut that shit the off. artist. Put your shit on me. It's always an I'm, 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 I'm dead serious on a vibe type of joint with it. Like, I could be in the mood to be like, dang, I want to paint something that just make me feel empowered. And like, like that's what the ballerina was about. Like, let me just do something that make me feel empowered. And it just really depends on that headspace. But you got to like, really, whatever headspace you in, you got to allow yourself to fully like be in it. So you can like really be as creative as you allow yourself. Like a lot of times people control their creativity, like they hold back and shit. Yeah. So you gotta really just let yourself be committed fully to whatever it is. Without judgments, without inhibitions, without somebody like, damn, I wonder what they're gonna say. I wonder if they're gonna like it. I wonder if that like Can't help the it. beauty of art is mm-hmm. everybody don't gotta like it. Yeah. Only somebody gotta like it. Mm-hmm. Words and like some people look at uh, Basquiat shit and be like, "What the fuck? He was just drawing all these doodles all over the place." And then to some people, it's like the most amazing piece of artwork that their eyes have ever seen. Mm-hmm. So you know, beauty is in the eye of the beholder when it comes to shit like that. <laughs> some people just don't get it, and some people gonna get it immediately. But you do it. You gotta do it for you so that the only reactions you're looking for is for the people that do get it. That's dope shit. That's shit you said about like yo. Wait, wait hold. Can we do it? No, we do hold up. Finger snap. Yeah, finger yeah. Finger snap. snap. She just dropped some deep she shit. Some deep the shit, shit you said about right. being yourself and being uninhibited. <laughs> yo, I think uninhibited. That is key because I find that like if you're conscious of how you look or if you feel, you feel conscious of how people view you, mm-hmm. that that is what t- it holds you back. Yeah. And you know, that's something that's dope about. About us and about everything, you know what yeah. I'm saying? We allow people to kind of get in that zone, yeah, because we so like nah, not abstract, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So, definitely, so non confrontational, nah, no, nah, we confrontational, that's not the we confrontational. You have a, <laughs> you have a meet a nigga that you can't even snap the back of his snap back, you yeah. know, you're comfortable with shit on the yeah. <laughs> You know you're comfortable when you come around here. You ever meet a nigga that use big words, but he don't know how to use big words? This nigga, no, that's not this nigga right here, son. <laughs> this nigga he's like, right here. He's like, a lot of times. I know. I know niggas like that. that. You're wrong. You this nigga right here. Okay. Yo, yeah. you're going to throw me into the bus like that, bitch. Your yeah. heart, your heart was in the right place. Right. You got to pull up to the light. No. Kid grew into the other car. <laughs> <laughs> nigga. No, right, but that was the second question or that was the first? No, that's the only question you Nigga, had. shut yeah. the fuck she up. You have two? She had two. No, she only had two. No, that's what I'm saying. She got to have a second And you question. smell good. You smell like berries and fruits and shit. <laughs> Listen, stay away from this guy. Yeah, yeah. I'm mad stay harmless. Stay away from this guy. I'm harmless, yo. Have I bit you yet? No. no. 
I ain't up. got close enough. Uh, <laughs> I did. I'm gonna tell that story. Hey, hey. hey, what up, D? I'm gonna see you at work. That's the front part tonight. Oh, hey. it's your co-worker? Yes. D, D, Where y'all work at? Huh? Okay, United. Pump, 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 Oh, I need some motherfucking buddy passes oh, or shit. companion yeah, yeah, yeah. passes or some oh, shit. Oh, shit. I always be coming through there. I need to come through for the oh, low. So no, what the fuck talk, is Talk to this guy. Yeah, <laughs> talk to this guy. I think you the one I need to talk to. Oh, hey. What is it? Now, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I need to make a call to somebody. <laughs> hey, first, hey. I know white people. Look, look, look. First thing first, I ain't got no Instagram. I'm still hustling, so I ain't got no Instagram. Oh, okay. Hey, okay. shout out to the oh, hustlers out there. Hustlers out there. Uh, Facts. Quick question. Hey, what's one thing you done bought that you regret? That's a good question. Good question. Yeah. Give me a snap for that. <laughs> That's snap a good, that good question. question. That is all right right Boy, there. I like that question, That's D. Tough. Look, she got to think about that shit. Like, damn. That's I done tough. bought a lot of That's fucked tough. up shit. Actually, I haven't. Uh, yeah, you haven't? No, she sounds oh. from this interview. Yo. It's organized Yo. and meticulous. So it is. Yo. Her thought process, she don't seem a like a spontaneous shopper. She seems like, I'm going to go get what I want, not what I feel. Oh, shit. He yes. nailed it in the head. He He's did. absolutely right. He nailed it in the head. If I, if I know I'm going to get some, it's because I have thought about that shit long and hard. I say, like, <laughs> something I regret spending my money on. Yeah. I gave a friend a, a loan, a 10 grand. And I want my motherfucking ten grand back, bitch. Oh, I got, I got, I got, I got, I got a question. No, no, no. Let her answer her. His yeah, I, I need that. I need what that she, ten grand I, back, though, bitch. She, like, wait, I ain't even she's playing. probably not gonna. You probably not gonna All get that aside, back. Yeah. I want my motherfucking ten grand back, bitch. She know exactly who the fuck she is. Uh, and she probably is watching. Is she black? I hope she she is black. She black? She's not, she's you're a, not she's getting your black. money back, baby. Guess what? Guess what I did? Baby, not Hold getting. Hold on. Sorry. Hold on. Let me tell. You, let me tell you what my white. Side had me do. <laughs> I got a legally bonded contract for I sent that ten grand. Oh word. So oh okay. It okay. ain't no. It ain't nothing but a phone call to okay. the lawyer. Okay. But I'm trying to be a decent friend right. yeah. and wait for you to give me the, to fucking, the fucking money. money back. But oh. we're already a year fucking past due. So now it's like, oh, bitch. Man. I just want my motherfucking yeah, money. Like, 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 what did, does she do something money, that well, warrants well, she didn't her? Answer his question yet? She I don't give a question? fuck what you do. Because if I see you take a goddamn plane ticket. You got a plane. If I see you on your Insta story with a fucking plane ticket somewhere, mm -hmm. you should have given me my goddamn money. Because if you could afford a goddamn, give me my goddamn money. Start, start somewhere. Okay. Start, okay? Small. start somewhere. So what's the question number two? Question number two. Shit. Question number two. Can I get some more punch? Facts. Go on and give him some punch. It might be a buck thirty. He only. You get, get two cup, cup minimum. Give me a fucking cup. Give me a cup, D. That's what I brought the big jug for. We got a question. We get a cup, D. Get a cup. And, um. Oh, shit. Hold on. Look at it. Look at it. Buddy looked like he just was on the Pee Wee football he team. He had some of the punch. Sideline. He was on. D. My man. He had the punch. DJ Sean got the punch. He was like, yo, listen. I got a question. He did. I got a question. He looked like he came from his son Pop Warner football game. I got all right, yo, hold on. Let's get to this question. Let's get to the question. Yo, this, this Q from Richmond, Virginia, 804. Uh, you can find me on IG. Hey. J -A -Flaws, J -A -D -E -D -F -L -A -W -Z. Uh My question to you is, um, from one artist to another, how do you evaluate your assess? How you... The question was how you evaluate your success. That was the question? Success. Uh, so success. Success. I mean, honestly, for me, success is like how you feel. Yeah. Like... For example, I quit Black Ink. To some people, they'll be like, oh, this bitch ain't successful no yeah. more. Yeah. Right. <laughs> That's their opinion. Yeah. Right. My opinion is I'm more successful because now I control my narrative. I control my destiny. I'm a part of things if I choose to be, not because I'm required to be. So I feel like I'm more successful. I might not have that same platform, and I might not have to make a fool out of myself to, you know what I'm saying, get a bag right now. Which I'm very grateful for. Mm -hmm. So for me, my success is like like people look at this tattoo shop. This shit look pretty goddamn successful. To, mm -hmm. for, yeah, I like this shop. I'm gonna know, get if a I tattoo. I don't say so myself. It does not look like a tattoo shop. It does not have like that. It like it feels good. Yeah. Like I feel like I'm successful. My radio show. Yeah. When I get people on my Instagram and on my my Twitter and all of these other platforms, and they hit me up like, "Yo, I'm rocking in." With Dutchology, 92.7 a block, like, 
that shit is success to me. Yeah. I got people that's fucking with me, and they don't got to fuck with me. They're choosing to fuck with me. I give them something that makes them feel motivated and inspired about. Like, this is the stuff I'm in control of. VH1 want me to look like a, well, excuse me, Big Fish, which is our production company. Big Fish wanted to make me look like a bitch all the time. Mm. And granted, I'm a black woman. Yeah. I can be a bitch. Mm. But I'm sure every woman in this room can be Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. under the right circumstances. Now... Aside from those circumstances. This nigga back posture is straight. I just want to point out. This nigga sitting here like this. Not leaving on shit. <laughs> nigga core is on so 18. Nigga. Information. Like, this core is tight. Soak this shit in, nigga. Loosen up. Nigga. I, I am fucking in, done. <laughs> no, no, but like seriously, like now, now I'm actually in control. Like before I had to play a part of a situation that sometimes I wasn't okay with. Sometimes yeah. I wasn't comfortable with. And that's why they made me look like whatever they wanted me to look like. Ooh. But like now I'm in control of everything. My music, my shop. Like we can be in this bitch till 5 o'clock in the morning. Because why? It's mine. It's yours. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? We could go to the studio right now and record. Why? Yeah. DJ. Because it's mine. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Too. Having control over your shit is far greater success than being a part of environments <laughs> where you have no control. That's dope shit. So what's your second question? That was... Uh, look at, yeah, that, that, that was That was, that was a good ass question. That was a good ass question. Great question. Great question. Too, Hold on. Put the... Put the uh, put. I got, my last question is, um, I guess, like, what do you want to be remembered for? Like, like how do you want to impact the world? <laughs> He said, what do you want to be remembered for and how do you want to impact the world? Yeah, what's your legacy? My legacy is women's empowerment. I'm living my legacy. I left a relationship that people think was the most successful black love relationship in reality TV. Really? I walked away from it. You Mm -hmm. and Caesar? That's what people think. You would be fucking surprised. Yeah. Uh, yo, you know what? I was yo, you you probably you might not remember this. This was funny shit. We was I was at uh, what's the joint over there? What's the club over there that used to be Dave and Buster's over by uh, yes. South End? What's that? I know joint what called? you're talking about. Um, um, Oak Room. Yes. Oh, Oak Room. Yes. I like Oak Room. I'm at the bar. My man's. I, I'm connected in this little city. Whatever. I, my man's is <laughs> throwing a joint. Yeah, that's actually, I mean, I'll it just is what it is. It is. It is what it is. I mean, it is. It is. It is. I'm, I know a lot of people. I know a lot of people. You know, they're like, oh, you don't right. pee. You don't pee. You're like, hey. I got so many aliases that you don't know people talk about me, but it'd be me. But so anyway, so I, I'm sitting in joint. And so, and then you came to the bar. Like, you was right here. Like, and we right now, I'm just watching. It was a game on. And a dude came up behind you and was like, oh, Duchess, where's Caesar at? And like, I oh, looked at that's you. Bad. And you looked at me like this nigga so whack right now, son. Like, yeah, and yeah, it it, it it made me feel awkward. Like I said, wow, <laughs> how you, how do you? Yeah, but how you, you see, so like, what? I'll it. get. I say all that to say, like, does that make you feel awkward when people mad on mad late news and they still like mention talk about you and Caesar? How that make you feel? Um. I'm not bitter. Yeah. See, that's that's what bitter bitches do. It trust me. I'm experiencing some hate from some bitter bitches that I wasn't even in a relationship with. There's also a bitter bitch that I was in a relationship with that's acting real bitter too, but you know, no names need to be called. But when you feel like, when you feel the need, no, I'm going to be honest. This is a very important thing. Think about this. A chick or a male? Think about a this. A bitch, a, bitch, a, bitch. a bitch is a bitch, my a bitch nigga. Bitch. Straight like that. But let me, but let, but let me keep nigga. it a buck with you. Let me keep something a buck a with you. Bitch, I don't give a fuck how long you was with somebody, right? Right. If you cared enough about that person to put a ring on their finger, right. I don't give a fuck what they do. Yeah. You should never defame their name. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Because you cared a fuck enough to want to marry the bitch. Exactly. So right. shut the fuck up about whatever she is or whatever you thought she was or whatever the fuck you wish she was. Don't even speak none of it yeah. because it's irrelevant at this point. Yeah. You loved the bitch at one time. Yeah, fact. You if do, you love My nigga, if you yeah. love that bitch, love her enough to shut the fuck shut up the about fuck her. Up. Yeah. Walk, away, walk away in peace because that's what I have done. Yeah. Y'all have never seen me talk shit about none of them, mm-hmm. slander their name, yeah. disrespect them, violate, speak my my truth. Yeah. Like throw a, out like the proof of real shit. shit that I really got. I got shit that could really ruin niggas' whole sh- situations. <laughs> yeah. I really do. I, I know, I bet. I if bet. I was a bitter ass bitch, I that's bet. the type of card game I would play. One yeah. of them niggas got a thumb in the booty hole and, you know, <laughs> and the shit is on video. <laughs> <laughs> and, 
<laughs> so I know goddamn well she got somebody with like, a in the phone. Like, listen, Mama, you ain't got to say nothing. Anybody got to say nothing. I'm she not. Like, <laughs> she like, yo, all I got to do is go Instagram. She got a thumb in the nigga ass. Post on Instagram. Oh, my God. And it's over, nigga. CSR, Kenny Burns, everybody. Everybody falling out. My nigga Kenny shot the nigga Kenny. That ass, though, in all seriousness, if I was really that type of person, I could drag you. I could tell the yeah. real truth of this relationship, yeah. what I really did for you. Yeah. I could really be... Uh, like, how you trying to make me look like to people yeah. is mad fucked up. Yeah. Did y'all watch season five of the show? So, last episode of the show, at, when they was it. in Atlanta, okay. and they made it seem like I came and served him papers uh, uh, yeah. for yeah. half of the right, shop. Right, right. Now, yeah. don't you think if I was serving somebody papers, they would want to see my reaction to me serving them? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Why the fuck I wasn't there? See, I'm lost. Because I, I, that was staged. It never existed. I yeah. never asked for a piece of a don't goddamn go. thing. Let me tell y'all the shit I ain't want a goddamn listen, thing. Listen, listen. I still don't want a goddamn thing. It's and if staged. I wanted a goddamn thing legally, I know how to get it. Yeah. It's staged. I told you. I know, know everything that I've done for this motherfucker. I know everything. Yeah. And I've been silent. I've been sitting back just. Listen, I don't even want to talk about that. Fuck no, all no, that, no, though. Shit. No, we going where you going. No, we going. We need to go there because the reality of it is. Fuck out of here with Damn that it. shit. Yeah. This is what the people really want to fucking yeah, hear. Yeah. This is what the let's fuck go. they really want to hear. Shit. So when you on that show, when you on the show, how is it? Let me tell you. Hold on. Let me tell you. Let me let tell you. Let me tell you, let me tell you how that day went down. Yeah, facts. Let me tell y'all how that day went down. Oh shit! Here we go. Okay. I flew from New York. I'm in the cup. I'm in the cup. I flew from New York the day after I maced the bitch, kid. No disrespect to you, kid, but I just call women bitches. It's no disrespect. <laughs> you maced her? I, I didn't, you maced yes, her? I maced her because oh, the producers shit. put a battery in her back and told her that she needed to fight me to earn her spot on the show. What? I'm not fighting you over no nigga that I don't want to fight. The producer no said that? Nigga, I got proof of everything. Yo, they be, yo, they be, yo, this. Be, I, I got proof of everything. I got proof of everything. And this is why I have so, no so, problem so, so, telling the truth because so I can come? prove it. How's it come like, like it'd be a white dude? How, like how it happened you, know, you ain't gotta say no names Let me tell you Hey, hey, hey I'm gonna tell you I'm gonna tell you You really gotta so, do this So you know? they told mm-hmm. me They was like Well she wants to talk to you And I'm like Talk to me about what And they're like Well you know she's fucking with C's I'm like Okay oh. I ain't fucking with this nigga so why am I tripping over her fucking with him? Right. But she was your friend. No, y'all trying to hype up a situation. She was not my friend. She was a girl that was hired to work on this show who posed as my friend to make sure she could keep a check. White people evil. I get it. <laughs> they are evil. But you got to understand this. Every producer on reality TV, guess That's what a, their degree is in? Psychology. psychology. Every last one of them have a psychology degree. See, this is what I love about... This is the type of conversations that need to be had. People don't understand what's going on in reality TVs. They are doing their fucking jobs. Their job is to mentally fuck you into making some shit seem like something that it's not. That's what their job is. Wow. So you can't be mad at the job. That's crazy. You feel me? So they tell her that. I recorded the shit I on see, my phone. I see why I can play it right now. Crazy, I'm so motherfucking... Let me tell you, I'm so serious about my shit... I don't play with them. I will record the shit yeah. on my phone. I thank God for iPhone. Thank you, Steve Jobs. Because yeah. my nigga, you, you might have kept the bitch from having a court case. <laughs> and I'm not even exaggerating. I'm when when I maced the girl, they was like, Duchess, you're going to go to jail for this. <laughs> That's what they said, told you. <laughs> my niggas, the producers, they're <laughs> like, we're about to call the police and you're going to go to jail for this. Damn. <laughs> That's, they got to be white. Mad call. That's some white, white, white shit. That's, there wasn't That's some white, white shit to say. Wait, wait, there wasn't my nigga, white. You're going yes, to jail, white. Duchess. Wait, I'm getting different. Half of them is white, half of them is black. So you're who's the person down. that said you want to go to jail? Of course, so the white black. person is gonna be the one to okay, tell you that. Like nigga, they gonna pick the like nigga that. to tell you the good shit. Okay. Come on, it's psychology. Right. Yes. psychology. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The I white person really is gonna say you. you're going to jail, jail, Duchess. The black person is gonna say I mean, you be out this evening. You be out. Don't even sweat that shit. Good job for technicality. So look, so so let me tell you what I had to do. I had to I had to just pull out my phone and play back and say, well, I told y'all if y'all hyped her up. And she wanted to fight me, yeah. that I was not fighting this girl, yeah. that I was going to mace her. Yeah. And I played it. Uh-huh. I said, so basically, you guys set her up. So call the police right quick. Yeah, you guys set her up. Please, please mace. hurry, because tonight, we all might be going to jail. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> 
We all go. I ain't hey, going by myself. We all gonna New go. York we all gonna go. So hey, them the type them of games they like to play chess. I like to play chess. So you know what? That, that goes into the segue of because I know everybody like a lot of people watch reality TV. Please watch it with motherfucking uh, uh, open open mind. No, not an open mind. Right. Close your goddamn mind. Close your mind. <laughs> Just know that everything you watching is a fucking unicorn story. But that's what I want to know. Like. It's what, fairy much, tales and unicorns. Like how much of this is like how much of like how much of it That's is what real. you're watching. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> like how much of it is there real and how much of it is reality? Because how much of it is real and how much of it is reality? Like how much of it is real, how much of it is okay. fake? Put it like that. The percentage fake? the percentage that gets the money is fake. How much is the percentage? Say, watch what's the percentage of fake? Watch, watch the episode. He don't watch reality. I don't watch reality. Yo, this he is don't. Why, because I, I don't want to You can't be a part of this conversation. Do it. You can't be a part of this conversation. Why? why? That's like saying, who is Michael Jordan? Motherfucker, you don't play basketball. You don't need to know who the Man, fuck I'm he is. Nice. Yeah, I'm nice. I got bust your ass. I'm about to explain you. Explain fucking Michael Jordan to this nigga. He don't need to know basketball. I'm doing that shit. He yelled at me earlier. I'm petty as fuck. Yo, he said some shit. <laughs> I seen a 12 year old bust this nigga ass in some Adidas flip flops. He's never given that. I'm he never. He I. This nigga. I cr- about that. He crossed him. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. The kid had on flip flops. He had on sneakers. When he crossed him. He ain't have on no shoestrings no more. Tell your story. Hey, I had the shoestrings in my hand. I'm like, oh shit, that's a lie. Okay, but what did I do to him afterwards? Tell him, tell him, tell the whole story. He backed him him down like an old head. Mm. (laughs) That's what I'm supposed to do. Come on, little nigga. Come on. Then he got. Did he stop stop any of my moves? All right. See yo. Yes. Yes, how you doing? You got to have a cup. Child abuse, huh? B. You yeah, got to have child a Child abuse, B. Wait, what are you trying yeah. to imply, Miss <laughs> Duchess? That's a game. Wait, hold on. <laughs> what are you trying to imply, Miss Duchess? You need one just more. Just have a cup, baby. No, you got to tell the whole story. You no, can't. Just have you a cup. You told the story. Yeah, the, the kid was nice. He was a young kid. He had more energy than me. And he went in. That's what younger niggas do. They throw that fucking dribble and shit. Go to the fucking hole. I'm not knocking that. But what did I do? I did the old man shit and so, back him down and scored that bucket shit. I love yeah. it. I love that. Wait, got another. Oh, DJ Sean got a question, right? Wait. The the assistant. Uh Let's get the assistant principal on the mic. (laughs) (laughs) This nigga look like he got. (laughs) We gonna do it. (laughs) I hope you up to it. (laughs) (laughs) I hope. No, you good. Oh, I need some. Oh wait, wait, wait. Ash, Ash, she had a question. Go ahead, Ash. Ashley. Go ahead, Ash. Okay, so what can we expect from the up and coming season? Because I didn't even expect for you to be coming back. Like, I thought you were over. I'm not. Okay. Wait, you coming back? I'm and not you coming back to I, the new season. I, but guess I, what? They yeah. have used my image and likeness, yeah. which we'll see legally how yeah, that's that'll what I'm play saying. out. Can't you sue for that? Because that they use my nigga, like, why y'all let still talking out. about me and I'm gone? Let it play yeah. out. Just let a, me go. Get a couple of dollars. That, I ain't tripping. Let it play out and get a couple tripping. dollars. The fact that I know that I'm even a part of the conversations lets you know some shit. Right. Like, right. my nigga, yeah. I know too much. I know too much. You gonna see yeah. C's. I'm a spoiler alert. Yeah. Spoiler alert. So you got C's going to a courtroom in Atlanta. Number right. one, I am a North Carolina state resident. Yeah. Right. I have no business being in Atlanta whatsoever. Yeah. So what the fuck did I take this nigga to court for in Atlanta? Yeah. For a shop that I never had my name nothing to do with. Like my nigga, what you do is when you have no storyline, you create bullshit so you can have fools watching the shit and they start believing it. So then so, they start going on my page with the fucking hate crimes they and do. all this shit. <laughs> Bitch, I can't believe you took him to court for some shit that that. Ah! Bitch, you don't know what the fuck I did for that nigga. Number one and number two, I really didn't take his bum ass to fucking court any motherfucking way. But nigga, since you want to make a joke about court, I got a joke for you about court. No, but you know what? And What's all, the joke? Oh, I stay tuned. Oh shit! No, no, no. And I ain't talking about. TV, Seriously. I'm talking about social media. No, but hold I'm talking up. about breaking the internet. But hold up. In all oh seriousness, Dutch is gonna break it eventually. No, but hold just up. Know it. Stay seri- tuned. Hold on. In all seriousness, okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm dead yeah. serious. I need a microphone when this shit happens. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, advisory head. You know, advisory head. You know, advisory head. You know, advisory head. No. Dead ass. Y'all, y'all think I'm playing? Shit gonna. But you like, know what? You so, can't you can't do that shit to a motherfucker that so knew. So do you have to sign a clause like that you can't talk about stuff uh, that you know is. Okay. So but but no 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 but that but was, I'm saying don't yeah. you have to the, the, the people don't know nothing about that they don't know nothing about clause they're like well I can't say what they, they you know you yeah, tell somebody I, something they tell honest, their best friend I'm gonna be honest with you there are legalities that you know what I'm saying but if I'm not a part of the show if yeah. I'm not a part of the storyline I'm only telling what the fuck I know right yeah. I'm not Ooh. a part of y'all filming. 
I could be telling some bullshit. Yeah. Which I know I'm not. I have right. a very valid source. Just to keep that, you know. Yeah. Let y'all know that. <laughs> source is valid. Source gets valid. a check, okay? I just From check. the company. So I got a very valid source. Yeah, but the reality of it is, is it's like, my nigga, y'all want to tear me down with lies no, when I can tear this whole situation okay. down with the truth? What lies are they trying to tear you down with? Bruh. The fact that I wanted to take from this nigga, I wanted to... I wanted half of the shot from him. Oh, I left. I was using this nigga for this or for that. And like, that's my not nigga, true. Wait, can I cut, can I cut you off for a second? This nigga about to get drunk. Can I cut nah. you off for a second, please, please? Nah. Wait, I, was I, with him. Him. I was fucking with him. I was fucking with him. Can I say no, something, No, we didn't please? know. We no, no, didn't hold on. Wait. Asking, like, if wait, wait. you watch the wait. show, if you watch it, when C's oh, went, when C's went to, hold up, hold up. When C's went to court for child support, what did I do on the show? She did write a check. Right. Wait, hold up. Can I say something? I don't got no kids. Make- I took a charge. I took a charge for this nigga. I, I went to jail oh for this God. nigga, my nigga. Yo. I ain't never went to jail in my life, and I went to jail for a fucking nigga. Clearly, I cared about the motherfucker. Yeah. Clearly. Can I, can I interject, When I please? found out that he ain't even buy the <laughs> ring, what do you I'm think begging. that's going to make a nigga I'm, feel I'm like? I'm literally begging. You can't no, no, hear me. I'm worried. Nah, <laughs> it's not about you all the time, though. No, I just want to say. Yeah. Wait, Wait, no. Can we stop you know talking about him? Oh, yeah. Yes, let's stop talking about C. This is about you. No, we're Why not we talking about. No, we're not talking about nobody. We're not talking about nobody. That's first. We're talking about my experiences and being a motherfucking strong-ass woman and getting through this bullshit. Okay, can we stop talking? Talking about your experience with that situation and move on. I want to know about power. About whatever you I want, want to know about Streets 103. Shout out to Jay No. Shout out to Chewy. First off, get your fucking That's life together. Tell her motherfucking lies out here. Get... It's, the it's, the it's, the it's the punch. 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 Right. He want to shut down. This nigga want to shut down no, 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 real no. shit. No, Chewy's and he ain't even got the facts said, straight. Chewy's on the block. Jay No is on the block. Hold on. I got the right people. I got the right people. Yeah, I get the wrong station. That's like, saying, that's like saying, that's like saying, oh yeah, Michael Jordan and and, and the Scottie Pippen that played for the Phoenix Suns. No, the fuck they never did. They did the fuck the is Phoenix we talking Suns. about? But listen, but listen. No, the fuck they, they did. never did. No, they did. The fuck is we talking yes, they did. about? And, and 2K. Yo, but no, check me out. Hey, Dutch. 2K they played for the Suns. I got them on the, hey, on Dutch, the Phoenix Suns. Hey, Dutch. Get right back on 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 to what you were saying though. I mean, it's uh, like okay. There's nothing that they can say that don't can like... Don't watch the shit. Wait, you going back you're going... to that shit? We talking about oh, TV. You need to just jump on it. Don't ask me. Wait, we talking just about... Just jump on it. Wait, wait. We Go going ahead. back to that shit? So it's going... Right like, if you can... Hey, yo, DJ Shark, I need you to come here. Hey, come here. Cállate la boca. Oh, ah! shit. Oh, she put the Spanish on me. Do that. She, said, <laughs> she hit me with the Spanish <laughs> shut up. She put the Spanish shut up. She got me off track, but if you know what I'm saying. Maracon. You better say so, Maracon. So you can share what you want to share. <laughs> You can share what you want to share, being that you're not a part of that. So yeah, I've just said that for the sake of the people that don't know. They don't know, like oh yeah, they don't know sometimes. that like shit that really happened. They don't get yeah. to really know the truth. They don't know that the producers came in here and begged us to go to Atlanta to serve him papers, and we told them no. Word, and then so they manufactured that. Wait, wait. So Mom, then they manufactured Mom, that, how right? How much money? How much money? What? Get the bag. Oh, that's that's hey, that's, that's Lincoln that's County the right there. That's so the this is why when that's I tell Lincoln you, County I'm right not there. about that shit. If I wanted to really get a bag, the shit that them niggas wanted me to do, nigga, I wouldn't even need this shop. Right. I'm gonna keep it a hundred. Right. But I like to look at myself in the mirror, and I like for the man that wake up and look at me. I like for him to like to look at me in the morning too. I can't go to sleep feeling. Fucking good about myself knowing mm. that I took some fucking money for some shit that I really don't even believe in. Yeah. Mm. Like that shit just ain't my cup of tea. So when y'all got all of this bullshit of you seeing them drag me through the mud, when you don't see me present for that shit, no one understand it. It's got to be a reason why I'm not present. Do you defend yeah. yourself? Because I'm on not a pro- for what? Do you? I mean, but for but what? So that so that your people know. Like maybe my maybe, nigga, let me tell you something. It's, it's people, they it's people that will argue with you till the fucking moon comes out. Uh uh-uh, uh, bitch. I know you was taking him to fucking court, bitch. Bitch. And then they they the shot you don't even home. fucking know me, ho. Hey yo, DJ Shaw, you got a question? Hold on, what? Yes. yes. You got two questions? How many questions you got? They get death threats. Huh? huh? Mama, 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 Mama,
Ooh, ask your question, Dave Shark, man. Let me just let y'all know. Yeah, DJ it. Shark been here since day motherfucking here. one. Here, since Shark. day Shark. one. Hey, he, Slow down. That, that punch like he part time Michael head. Jackson. And then <laughs> he won't shoot basketball. He, he, had, he had to unbutton that button for a minute. Like, hold on. <laughs> his sweater and his beard is cashmere. <laughs> it's winter time out there. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> that two piece came together. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Everybody got, Everybody got it. <laughs> no, you fresh, by the way. You fresh. Hey, you fresh, you fresh by the way. Buddy. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Uh, I just want to. He got a phone? But he wait, like, oh, I got a phone to ask a question. Oh, no. Wait, 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 wait. Everybody be quiet because we need this. Okay, yeah. I need to see. He gonna get us booted. That nigga brought. Hey, yo, Sean, you gonna get us cut the yeah. fuck off, B? Yeah. What the? Yo, that was your shit. That was your shit. That nigga brought my clerking now. Cut off. Never made it. Yo, you can't get us cut off, B. You got a shivery chin when you say that. Something made it. What the fuck are these guys doing? We gotta cut the fuck off. I'm gonna watch you, Sean. I would have lost it all. I hope y'all enjoyed the first hour and a half. Word. You're gonna get some fucking note on the block list with Zuckerberg. We might not be on the same channel. All the copyrights. Hey, so do y'all ever watch um huh? Miss T.S. and Kaya's podcast? One more time? No, I can't Who? get into it. One more time? <laughs> I can't get into it. Okay, I'm not going to be Shout out to Madam T.S. and Kaya, because y'all. Is that transsexual? Wait, Does that stand for transsexual? That's the girl? Don't it? My back. Okay. Don't it stand? Madam T.S. Let me tell you, them heifers be going. My nigga, they are the best people on fucking the internet right now. I don't care. What, what's the that name? That shit is like. My nigga, that shit is so entertaining. Who the is other it? night I watched it. I Word. put my smart TV on YouTube and I dead seriously. When I woke up at seven o'clock in the morning, the shit was still on a whole nother what episode. Was they on? My nigga, Word. since some, like eight o'clock that night. No, some nights they will go. Shit was for like lit. Four and five hours. What the no fuck? Lie. Madam That's too T, much. is it a light skinned lady? No, Kaya. No. Kaya, 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 my neck, my neck. back. My Eat my oh. pussy and my crack. That's what it is? I thought yeah. they said yeah. Madam yeah. T.S. I thought it meant transsexual. What you, what you did. smiling over here for? I think. Huh? I did. Okay. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Where you going? Where you going? That's it? Let me try to sneak out. Chelsea! Look, 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 look. Huh? You didn't ask your question? She got tattoos everywhere. Wait, wait, hold on. Did DJ Shark ask a question? He asked a question. It's still food. It's me. Okay, ask your question, Sharp. Hey, Duchess. Man, what the fuck we doing tonight? <laughs> Where we good, at? Good question. We live. Where we at? <laughs> hey, so y'all know the Hornets is playing. I'm a Pisces. I'm a water sign. I, I got that flow, baby. I'm a water sign, baby. February. The best. I'm just saying, I close the door. I'm well, well, I'm on the cuffs, Aquarius and Pisces, so I kind of like got this mysterious, like crazy shit going on. All right, hold on. We got the last. We got the last two questions of the night. The last two. We got the last two questions of the night. We got the question. We did. Okay, so we got the last two questions of the night. We did. Wait, wait, hold on. Wait. Ooh. We got. J. J. Cole got one more goddamn question. That's three. That's three. What's the name of the new song? Because you said you're going to maybe throw a flag on the play, and I like that line. Hey. That's my joint called Traded. Traded. Ooh. It's actually called ESPN. And my lawyer just had a talk with me today. Like, why do you want to call it ESPN? Yeah. And it's because, like, I love sports. I love sports. Like, I hope to, like, dibble and dab and being a sports commentator hopefully soon. That's what this radio job I'm hoping it'll lead to. But I love sports. So in the song, I make all of these sports references. I talk about how I might have to throw a flag on the play, how I'm the coach and I draw out all the plays, you know, so yeah. how yeah. you fumbled my heart. Like, you know, Ooh. I just... Got them sports references, so I like references. to call it ESPN. So you want to do like you want you want the the the, the radio thing to lead to more towards sports radio. Yes, well, not even yeah. sports radio. I feel like I I feel like this when it comes to sports and TV and entertainment, people need to look the part. These excuse my 
I'm about to speak my language right, again. We on These it. bitches that be running around with them fucking Abercrombie and Fitch hairdos and goddamn um, yeah. all these fucking uh, old lady principal suits, like, <laughs> that's not how the athletes look. The athletes look like me. They tatted up. They yeah. got dreadlocks. Yeah. Like, the person that needs to talk to them needs to be a representation of their their culture. Wow. Like, that's what I feel like needs to be in all of these demographics because the reality of it is, why, just because she don't got no tattoos, she can talk better than me? Right. No. I can flick this shit on and off like a light switch. Uh, and the reality of it is, is because I live a lifestyle so similar to theirs, mm-hmm. the conversation is going to actually be very intriguing. Are you relevant in a conversation? Very intriguing. Am I? Yeah, you know I mean. <laughs> Yeah, Am I, mean. I? <laughs> I know. I didn't tell the cover cats before they left. I will say this before W-C-W's. they left. Before they left Carolina, you know what I mean? They um and they they left Carolina like recently. You know what I'm saying? They will go to another team. You know what I'm saying? Had a conversation, but but that's what they know that. Nah, nah, they said about that. But it was good stuff. It was good stuff. It was I good stuff. Know. Yo, <laughs> ah, look at you. Look at you. you got enough later. followers, man. You care. got enough. I don't care. You got enough. Uh, then I might not have the right. One. What's your football? What's your what's your favorite? What's your favorite sport? My favorite sport. Nah, I play basketball. I love basketball, but it's not my favorite. sport. You play basketball for who? My whole life. High school. Lincolnton High School. Lincolnton High. Captain. West Lincoln. East Lincoln. Lincolnton, baby. Lincolnton. Oh, Wolves. The Wolves. Know that. Oh, okay. You said it right. Okay. Yes. Yes. Hey, hey. State champion in track. Yeah. Captain of the cheerleading squad. Damn. Like I just like sports. Used to the the used to the success. Have you been yes. to any games uh, recently this year? Right like Carolina. I've been to every game. Every game. Yes. What every about? game except for one. I missed one game. I've been to every game, even away. Yeah. Yeah. What about? Girl, no. Wait a minute, wait a minute. We dropped, we wait, dropped hold the. On. Hold on, we, you dropped the C and then you're not going to. We're we going to have to elaborate on that. What is this whole Zach yeah. thing? That's from yeah, Say that by was, the Bell? Say yeah. by the Bell? Yeah, yeah. No, yeah, no. Yeah. yeah. Say by the Let bell, it Zach? be that. Let it be. You be shooting yourself in the nuts. That's Say by the Bell, Zach? Why? Huh? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so let me give you the explanation about Zach. Zach. Let me give you the explanation about Zach. I have no idea what you're talking about. Let me give you the explanation about Say Zach. Say about the Shut up and listen so okay. you can understand. Okay, I'm going to shut up. So when I ended my engagement yeah. of five years, I just up and left. I ain't say nothing to nobody. I basically yeah. just up and left, left the fucking ring on a note, and I came back to North Carolina, and that oh, was shit. that. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, I remember that. When I, I came back home, I was like single, living my life, having fun. And VH1 is like, we need you to be like with somebody on camera. Mm. And I'm like... I don't want to really, like, that's not what I'm doing, so I'm not really trying to do that shit. Yeah. They had me do a scene with Bobby Valentino. Uh, shout out to Bobby V. The no. transgender Negative. chaser. He liked them, Negative. Trans- he liked them chaser. dinglings and booties. The transgender chaser. Code R-E-D. Tits and dicks. Yeah. Code. Tits with dicks. Code R-E-D. <laughs> Code R-E-D. Y'all, it was bad because they made me. They made him show up with roses and shit. He had his little Billy. Is he short? Is He's shorter he, he than me. Short, He's shorter than me. And you, you got to be six foot to ride this ride. Yeah, I'm I mean, sorry. <laughs> I've yeah, made I mean. only a few exceptions. C's was one of them, but you got to be six foot to ride. How this tall ride. was C's? There are no How more tall exceptions. Five ten. Oh yeah, he was my height. You know, so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just drawing a parallel. I ain't saying nothing under the. Stupid. <laughs> I make it look good. But but they they was trying to get me to like act like I I was gonna go out on a date with him, and we could not play that shit alone good enough. So that didn't make the cut. They was like, we can't even use that shit because I dead ass was like, bro, I'm not going out with you. Like, and he was like, I want my lawyers to cut that footage. I do not want her playing me on national TV. I was like, damn, you was worried about me playing you. Two months later, a fucking Trini played you. You should have just let me play you, nigga. Word. At least you would have looked straight, nigga. Right, hold on, Dutch. We got, that was just we got, we got two questions. Okay. From, we got two questions from, from our vodcaster from Clutch Radio, Stephen A. The Dream. Yes, what's your two Steven questions? Stephen The Dream in the building. Um, hey. glad, glad to be here. Two questions. My first question, um, you had to kind of get comfortable let me ask you, did you have to get comfortable on camera? You seem very confident right now. Were you always confident or was it tougher because you were more in the spotlight um, over the last few years per se? Like, did it, did when you When you be grow? yourself, you don't got to change nothing. Okay, okay. 
You can cut all this shit off. I'm going to talk to you the same way I'm talking right. to your yeah. ass right now. Yeah. But as, as far as just being in front of cameras, as far as being It's the, the same shit. Okay, okay. You know what? She answered that before by telling you she's a track star. And I told you she's an authenticist. And mama, and, mama, and mama Chris who said that when we had her on. She said the same exact shit. She's the same exact child. That's my child. I ain't even going to lie. I am... S- it's, it's Maybe it's fucked up, but I am the same. Yeah. I am very confident. Some people might call it arrogance. That's okay. I know who I am. I know what I want. I don't like to settle. I'm very, like, headstrong. Like, I'm just me. And I've always been like that. I speak my mind, even if, even if it gets me in trouble, even if it's wrong, even if sometimes I should shut the <laughs> fuck up. Mama Christian, like. I mean, I, I've said some things even on the TV show where I'd be like, damn, why did I say that shit? Yeah. But I had already said it. It was over, over. and done with. It's shit. over. And you're not gonna Charge it to the game. <laughs> my, ne- my next question. Um, You said you want to get into sports. You just jumped into radio. When we going to get the Duchess po- uh, podcast? Ah. Podcast? Yeah. What is a bot? Yo, is I love bot- hey, yo, Give me a high five for he that one. He just threw I himself up he, under I there. He segued that shit into his show. That you got perfect. The, you know what it is? Because I'm a college football guy. Perfect. I don't know. I don't know if I have time. So. I don't know if I have time. It's definitely something of interest. Like, the fact that I have a platform and I got people that really, like, be interested in some of the shit I got to say, that's kind of dope. Yeah. So I just like to allow them that that space to be able to have that relationship with me, especially knowing that I'm not going to be on this season of the show. A lot of people was hitting me up like, shit, I don't know if I'm going to watch the show and all of this. Like, yeah. I get all of that, but the reality of it is, is I'm still the same motherfucker. Regardless of whether it's going to happen or it's not going to happen, whether I'm here, whether I'm there, like, that's just what it's going to be. So the fact that I got people that rock with me like that, yeah. I want to be able to give them something that make them be like, dang, she still fuck with us. Right. Like, okay. I think that's what my music is. It's just another way for me to connect to, to people that vibe with me and fuck with me on another level. And Thanks. I talk about shit that everybody go through. Like, get traded. Y'all got some females y'all want to get traded. <laughs> I can't talk about that. Huh? Huh? I can't talk about that. Huh? Huh? Fuck around. They got a LeBron deal. You have you have it you have it you having a, a fall draft? Listen, I just I am a real talk. Man. Real talk. Hey, I just had to clear the roster, B. I uh-huh. just had hey, to, like... Sometimes you got to do it. Yo. Sometimes so you that post of Sherry B posted was about you? Ooh. 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 Gunshot. Ooh. Gunshot. Ooh. Or maybe the one... Or maybe the one... I saw the post. You saw the post? This is about P. Yeah. Hey, I don't know. But, yo. Say that to... Who? Yo, sometimes you gotta lighten the load, B. But I, I wanna, okay, we're gonna, we wanna get to Benji's single question. I, I wanna ask a question. It better not be but, no huh? Picture. Yeah, better be no fucking picture. We're gonna take that afterwards. This is after the show is done. No, no, I didn't know. Okay, let's ask the question. Yeah, give, give her the mic. Ask your question. Hey, yo, DJ Shark is. Like, Turn off the Nord Vosby punch, punch, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I like, um, when I think about reality TV, like, of course, you know, I think about honestly loving hip hop. I don't watch reality TV, um, but a lot of shit that I have watched, it was more like ditzy shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, like, to, see, to hear you speak the way you speak, like, I was, I was, I, like, I fell in love with that shit. Because I had never heard nobody sp- uh, on reality TV speak yeah. the way you speak and uh, talk about the things that you talk about. And I just wanted to say, like, yo, you are, you, you bomb, like, for real. That's what's up. I like you, for real. That's what's that up. This nigga didn't got a little crush on the goddamn. Hey, hey, hey yo, shoot your shot, 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 nigga. Shoot your shot, nigga. Shoot your shot, my nigga. This nigga Benji. I appreciate that. Shoot your I do. Shot. I appreciate that. You got the dip. You got the dip. You show. Look, no. Look, I'm gonna be honest. A lot of people watch. A lot of people watch the show. Hold on. A lot of people watch the show, and they get so many different perceptions of me. Yeah. So when people get that perception of me, I am very grateful because I know who I am. Yeah. 
But Fact. sometimes you see me being like, da 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 all the time. Yeah. You'll think, well, damn, this bitch is just a bitch all the time. Mm-hmm. Somebody might think that, but yeah. somebody else might think like, damn, she going off because she passionate because... These niggas doing this wrong. These niggas doing... Like, I like the educated consumer. Yeah. Like, a lot of people that watch TV, especially reality TV, they're not educated consumers. Yeah. That's why the type of commercials that they throw up on... Like, y'all got to pay attention to shit. I'm about to put y'all on game to something put, real crazy. Shit, put now somebody. look, Real Housewives of Atlanta, right? That's on ETV. That I don't watch it. It don't matter. I don't Learn watch something. I, I got to learn, learn, learn something. Learn something. Listen, bro. Learn, learn something. How are you going to be an entertainment guy? You can learn something guy right now. Say you ain't, come on. I mean, I'm, I'm in a no, but I just don't watch just it. Just don't say it. So look. Just don't watch it. Okay. So, Go ahead. Housewives of Atlanta. It's yes. on the network ETV. Excuse me. Right. Bravo. Oh, Bravo. Bravo and E both are the, the highest paid networks for reality TV. Oh, well, I didn't even that know that. means that that's who really cuts the bag. If you pay attention, VH1 and MTV are the bottom. Yeah, that's your Wait, love so and hip hop. That's your black ink. That's your Damn. real house. That's your real world. That's all of that shit. That's the bottom of the barrel. They pay niggas just to fucking be able to pay their rent. Barely. Wait, so who did the um the left eye story? Was that who? That has nothing to do with what we're talking that, about. That, that, that is a docu-series. Huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> The bull bugging. God damn. The bull bugging. God. Right. Did this show came and took my <laughs> Yo, he be watching Friends and shit. That shit has nothing to do with nothing. He got three kids and a wife. Nothing. He watched Tyler Perry shows, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> there ain't shit that you been that's, on that's that he didn't say. I do. Yo, he do. Oh I do. I do. I, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Anyway, <laughs> when you watch when you watch Bravo, Get my they got commercials like Pantene Pro V. Yeah. Lexus, um, them black products. Major banks. Um, no, those are luxury products. A luxury product on what channel? On um, Bravo. Oh yeah. Now, when you watch VH1 and you turn in to Black Ink, <laughs> da, 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 da. the commercials that we have, <laughs> I'm loving it. McDonald's. <laughs> I'm loving it. The commercials that we have. White rain shampoo White rain. Oh, in comparison a, to Pantene Pro-V. That Pro shit at the family White. dollar. That shit is 99 cent. And if a black person use it, you might be bald-headed in six months. Oh, like, it's shit. not even for us. Um, Another commercial that they have, instead of having a Lexus, they might have a Kia. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. They got LeBron in the motherfucker. Motherfucker, you ain't got no goddamn Kia. Like, you feel me? Motherfucker, when you, I ain't never seen you in no goddamn Kia, <laughs> This is lying. this is the type of shit. This is the type of shit that y'all ain't paying attention to. I see. But I'm paying attention to be because when these motherfuckers want to say, "Oh, Duchess, we want to do your spinoff," I want to know what type of checks is coming it's through. Coming in, yeah. Because that's gonna determine what type of checks is coming through. Yeah. So when you put yourself subject to these type of reality shows where it's ratchet reality, yeah. You limit yourself on the opportunities that you cr- create, not only for yourself, but involve yourself with just because now you have a platform. Yeah. For example. Snap, snap, my man used to be typecasted snap, all the time. I am who I am. I'm an HBCU graduate from North Carolina a and graduated cum laude. Not no, not no, that ain't this. That's yes, this. Yes, you loud. understand? That's Some people don't know what that means. That means I graduated with honors, honors baby. Yes, that means I, I wasn't just in class. I was actually, actually excelling. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So for me, I've always been the overachiever type. When the guy got shot by the police here in Charlotte. Who was that? Keith that was Lamont Scott, Keith Lamont bro. Lamont Scott. Scott. Yeah. That was the night. That was a major, yeah. major iconic moment in my yeah. life. Where that, was you? I was in New York. Oh, you was in New York? Let me tell you something. That, I was at Bubble. That day... No, that day changed my whole life. Yeah. I'm going to tell you why. Because it hit home? No. It had nothing to do with nothing but what was real. Mm -hmm. I am very passionate. I am a conscious black woman. I am so passionate about being black that it's... I know so much about my black history. I fuck somebody up. Yeah. And it's it's because I love it, not because I have to know it. Mm -hmm. Um, When that shit happened, I, I needed to be here. Yeah. I needed to be here because of my platform. I needed to be here because I'm from here. Yeah. I needed to be here because I'm a woman. And women are the pillars of this community. Women are the foundation, even for black men. I'm sorry, ain't none of y'all, each and every one of y'all, y'all might, mamas might be whatever, but guess what? There is a woman in your life that is that pinnacle. It ain't no nigga. It ain't no nigga. I promise you. Yeah, when just like a month ago, what the fuck was we talking about? Yeah, yeah. 
no. Pink. Ah, fucking I'm nigga. I'm going to say, pink. yeah. The nigga like and to switch his shit up. We go, right, no, right. No. But look. It's a segment. That day. But she's right. That yeah. day. I, I was approached with, with the opportunity to speak in front of everybody at one of the rallies that they had here. Yeah. For that whole entire situation. Mm-hmm. Mayor Julia Roberts, who thank God. I missed the opportunity, but thank God she saw things in me past that opportunity. But Mm -hmm. she Googled my name, Mm -hmm. and she saw Black Ink Crew and everything that popped up with it. And it all was negative connotations. None of it was positive. None of it was the fact that I graduated cum laude from one of the most illustrious HBCUs in the nation. You don't want to hear that? None of them, none none of it popped up is that she was... The most successful female black tattoo shop owner in this entire state. Don't want to hear that. Don't want to hear that. Like, none of this shit was a part of what she saw. So, the only thing she saw was negative. Yeah. So, they called me back. I'm like, about to get on a plane, about to come down this bitch, about to pay for this plane ticket, everything. Yeah. They're not even paying me. I'm coming out of my pocket. pocket. Like, that's how endearing it was for me to want to be here. Yeah. Called me back. Her office, they was like, you know what? We can't have you speak. Oh, wow. Not because of anything, but what she Googled. Googled, yeah. At that point, I said, I can't do this shit. Yeah. This shit is not going to control my motherfucking life to the point where opportunities that I am living my whole life for, I can't even touch because of some shit that I don't got nothing nothing to control over, my nigga. Yeah. Like, if y'all see the... if, If I had control of my narrative in a reality show, you would see... The art class. You see that artwork right there? That's kids that was in foster homes. Yeah. I opened my shop to them to come in here and do art classes for free. Mm-hmm. Like, I do things for the community that I don't need nobody to know about. Because yeah. that's not why I do it. Mm-hmm. But the fact that I do it, like, why the fuck can I not continue to be a pillar of my community? All because of some shit you saw on a fucking on a ratchet fucking reality group. show? Yeah. yeah. Yet, there's no one else. In the state of North Carolina that's from here, mm-hmm. that's willing to be as willing to use their platform for positivity, for empowerment, for uplifting, but me. Tell me one person that's from this state that has nah. the platform that I have, that do the things that I do, that shed light on the things that I shed light on. Yeah. So so this is something that, this is something for you too, Mom. What do you think is going to be able to, what, 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 what could you do? Because for everything, for every problem is a solution. What could you do to get to the next level to where that is the case? Or is it just a matter of time? For me, I'm not worried about that. If you're doing it for that reason, you're looking for a, a pat on the back. I'm not looking for a pat on the back. I do it because I want to do it. Mm-hmm. I now own a 5013C called Beat Yourself Beautiful. I started Beat Yourself Beautiful because I need women to understand that no matter the type of abuse you endure, you need to deal with your own insecurities first so nobody else can beat you down with that shit. If I if I think I ain't the prettiest girl in the world, you can't be like, well, bitch, that's why you ain't that's why you ain't the flyest bitch in the world. Nigga, I know I'm not. <laughs> fuck you talking about (laughs) you ain't hurting a nigga feelings i'm I'm okay with that because i know what my insecurity is like a lot of people allow their insecurities to completely defeat them especially women and a lot of that is done by men unfortunately Mm -hmm. so my nonprofit is like what i use to to have my legacy like i've helped women that lived in the salvation army center for hope they came here, got makeovers. We dressed them, gave them some clothes to go to job interviews on, some clothes they could just rock out and wear. Three of those ladies have their own place now. Mm-hmm. And they call me and hit me up like, you know yeah, what I'm saying? They call me and hit me, up, hit me up like, Dutch, you don't know how much I appreciate that. It was a lady that came that day and she was like, I've been HIV positive for 20 years. Ain't nobody never done nothing for me yeah. since I came out. And knew that I had a disease. She just broke down and cried. Mm. Like, shit like that, you can't put no money on that. Nah. Mm. And the amount of money it cost me to do it ain't even worth me talking about. Yeah. So that's why I don't feel the need to do it for those reasons. Mm. Because I don't get that from it. What I get from it is the personal shit. That Mm. shit is, like, bigger than money. Mm. Like, I could be feeling like shit. Like, I I be mad depressed. I go through cyber. I go through mad shit. I get yeah. mad depressed. Y'all might think, damn, that bitch got mad confidence. Sometimes I'm fucked yeah. up, yo. Sometimes mm-hmm. I'm laying in the bed and it's a loaded gun next to my pillow. Like, I'm, I'll am be fucked up behind some of the shit because it's not what I ever asked ever for. Ever asked for, yeah. 
So when I got people that share that part of their life with me, in those moments, that's when I really so get to I, enjoy that's what that. I want to ask you, like, because I know with reality TV, with anything, people want to do things that, like, like artists that in the rap game, they want to do things that sell records. People on reality TV, they want to show things that's going to get more viewers. Let me so turn you, up. Let yeah. me fight. So do you Let me feel do this. like? Let me do that. Yeah. So do you feel like reality TV doesn't show enough of the positive things? Like, do you do you do you feel like See, you want to be able to show? I yeah, learned. I learned. I learned the most important thing is social media, right? Yeah. So it's this girl that lives in. She lives in. She lives in Miami. Uh huh. And she's. 380 pounds. Oh. Does mm. that sound sexy? No. She probably from got the sound of it. No, she from the sound of it. Ass. Mainstream. Unless it's 200 pounds in the ass. Mainstream. It's 200 pounds in the ass. That's not Listen good. Listen to me. <laughs> Merce, that's not good. To <laughs> mainstream society, y'all know good and damn well that is not deemed sexy. Like, let's not play this fucking game. But where's the, where's the pounds at? She got fat ass. ass. No, it's everywhere. She got fat is ass. It, is it well proportioned? No, nigga. It's not. It's, it's, it's disgusting. It's disgusting. <laughs> now listen. She got a, ro- a roach You're crawl out your drawers. You're fucking missing the goddamn but point. It could be 200 pounds in the titties. You got some big ass titties and shit. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. You told, you told him to have another drink. That was your fault. She did. That was your fault. But go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead, boo-boo. The point. <laughs> she called us really stupid. I feel like she heard that already. The no, point. Like, look. No, was like, the like point that. is this. Yeah. This girl... <laughs> This yeah, girl puts on lingerie that's my size. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, girl, she sells, um, like she, yeah. Now, my G, listen. Got, she I, is getting paid she's on Instagram? to do club appearances. Five grand for an hour. What's right. the Instagram page? I'm about to follow her. I don't her. know. That shit frustrating. I don't, fo- I don't deal with foolishness in my life. I'm about to follow her. I don't support foolishness so at all. how does that make you when, feel, though, about shit? Like, like no, that, that just shows you that we really support ignorance. Yeah. Right. yeah. We don't give a fuck about what is real or relevant or important. We really do dead ass support fucking ignorance. And we like that shit. And we cheerlead that shit on. Yeah. And we encourage that shit. Mm-hmm. Like when a nigga talking that real shit, niggas don't want to hear that shit. Nah, they don't hear that niggas shit. don't want to follow that nigga. Like, it's one of the most amazing people on Instagram right now. My son, uh, General. My nigga, I'm sorry. It's some weak ass niggas in the world. It's a lot of weak ass niggas. It's a lot of fucking weak ass <laughs> niggas, my nigga. But when you go to this nigga page, it just make you understand like you know, even if you never met him, you'd be like, that's a real yeah. ass motherfucker. You know what I want to ask you? Like, God damn, that's a real what's nigga. What's your what's your idea on the um real side chicks of Charlotte? Like what's your she thoughts on that shit? Exist, huh? I just want to know what her, what's I'm, your I'm, thoughts on uh-uh. that shit. I'm gonna tell you the truth. What's your thoughts? Yeah, tell, you tell the, the truth. What's your thoughts on that shit? So when they were shooting the pilot, they came in here and they shot a um episode. In here, mm-hmm. they shot an episode in here. Oh, Who got shit. tattoo in here? I don't know because I wasn't here. Why uh, they shoot you know why I wasn't head. here? You want to know why? Yes, why? I want to know why. Because I'm not a part of foolishness. <laughs> but why you? Why you, you know why? Coming, why you coming to come in your house? Because guess what? I like foolish dollars. Okay. okay. Ah. The athletes, fuck? I love foolish dollars. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the fuck? I love foolish dollars. Okay. But, no, but the, let me tell you, let me tell you the beauty of it is. That's fine. Yeah. I don't think. I, I honestly, I I don't think that it's gonna be done correctly, because the way that it should be done, you should really be able to understand and tell like some side chick shit. I don't think that they're gonna be able to really tell the side the the, the truth. The real of what stories. It really, yeah. yeah. No, but I'm gonna be honest with you. If you got a housewife of a fucking Lana, you think I give a fuck about a rich ass bitch that ain't struggling for shit? Right. They got a nigga that done pay her whole fucking life way through. Yeah. I give a fuck. <laughs> so like, I don't fuck. But that's think crazy. about how interesting yeah. it is the bitch that's sucking and fucking her way to get everywhere she got a motherfucking be in life. That's yeah. the, that's yeah. deep. Yeah. And it's yes. fucked up. And she got to be okay with it the, is the, up. the belittling and berating but guess what? situation guess what? she in. You think the bitch that's the husband got the million, she ain't getting berated and belittled, nigga? The fuck? Is she? The fuck? Yo, you, yo, a lot what? Of the money. fuck? Is she? Are you no, serious? Yeah. Is she? Is she? Nigga, a nigga with yeah. money think, number one, I'm doing what I want. I'm coming when I, I'm coming in when I want. I'm leaving when I want. I'm fucking what I want. Take this bread and go do something. Why Have is some that? fun with your fucking but, friends. But do but, this, do that. But for you to say that she is being belittled and berated would be to assume that she does not aspire to have that lifestyle. 
What do you mean? Like that she Baby, let me tell minds. you something. No bitch. That she mine, yeah. Listen. To, they do. Let me tell you something. Some are. That's all they I'm, have. I'm going to I'm gonna be, honest, I'm gonna be honest with Some you. Some of them. The Not woman, the, look, the woman, the woman that you see. No, but, listen to me. The woman that you see before you, I ain't been perfect my whole fucking life, nigga. I done stripped. I done been in the strip clubs with some of these bitches and know what they really be about. And right. that's 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 judging a motherfucker. Sometimes you a side bitch and you don't even know you a side bitch. Right. A yeah. nigga done fucking glorified you so crazy uh -huh. that you really think you the one. Yeah. And the mm -hmm. nigga so good at hiding the shit, you'll never fucking know. And okay, okay, so and then we gonna clarify and so that, that is with wrong that being because. said, with that being said, I just like to see the reality of it. So if you really a side bitch, I wanna really know how how, how do it really feel to be a side bitch? Yeah. Because I'm gonna be honest with you. No little girl wants to be number two. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't give a fuck if she was in an orphanage. I don't give a fuck if she was raped her whole life. True. No little girl never wants to be number two. This is true. None. This is true. But, you know, I had a, but a lot of second basement. I had yeah. a conversation with one of them, and I asked her, I was like, so what do you do like outside of the show? She was like, yo, I quit my, I quit my job at uh, Spectrum now. And she said she was making like a lot of money an hour. And then uh, I was like, okay, cool, we're a bet. I said, so what, so what now? She was like, oh, well, I quit because they ain't make me a supervisor. I've been there for nine years and they ain't make me a supervisor. And I was thinking to myself, like, that's some bullshit, shit, though. Right. Then she was, yeah. I said, all right, cool. So what do you do outside of the show? Oh, well, niggas pay my bills. <laughs> is that is that the end all be all? Hey, but don't but don't gotta listen. think about it. It's some people that that's what their goal is to be. To be a lot of chicks glorify. Like, some people glorify the struggle. It's just like and some I'm gonna tell you something else. It's a lot of lazy ass trifling ass route. niggas out here that want a fucking easy ass way to just give a bitch a couple bread, fuck her, and then go fuck the next bitch. So yeah. you gotta blame the niggas too for being lazy ass motherfucking it, niggas. It, it, is, a, it is a vicious You a lazy ass fucking nigga. It's a vicious cycle. This is what I say. It's a vicious This cycle. is what I say. We both feed into it. Uh -huh. Yeah. It's simple. Yeah. Are you a finder or a builder? It's just that simple. What are you? What are you, Pete? Are you a finder or a builder? There's hunter, there's hunters, I'm a builder. and there's scavengers. <laughs> no. We can make all types of, 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 of parallel, draw all types of parallels, but at the end of the day, <laughs> it's all types that exist that, make the, that feed into this cycle. Yeah. You know what I'm Facts. Facts. That's a finder. That's yeah, a that's finder a finder. Hey, listen, we got a couple more minutes with Duchess. Do anybody have any more questions that they want to ask? <laughs> Nobody? <laughs> so he wasn't a fan before? We got the same thing. You're right. You're right. We're, we're in the same thing. Niggas boat. work 82 hours a week. Yeah, niggas. 82 hours? That's a lot of hours. <laughs> oh, yeah. I want to know. Okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. Who Marilyn oh, stole all her shit from? From huh? exactly. Mm -hmm. I was just about to see ask when you go in a white tattoo history. shop. See, I'm all about history. Right. Like dead ass. You can honestly tell. Yes. Oh wait, let me. The reason on. why Dorothy she has Dandridge. a uh, Dorothy Dandridge is on her wall, y'all. Yes, that's dope. Yeah, I got a hand painted. And Dorothy you know, you see the shit on the wall. cheek, right? The, cheek. Yeah, the that's NC. Dope. That's dope. Ah! But um, I got. I got Dorothy Dandridge because a lot of people don't realize, like a lot of people in the tattoo industry, they glorify Marilyn Monroe. They put her on this, on you know, this this shit, yeah. this yeah. amazing pedestal, like she was this glamorous woman. Yeah. They don't realize that everything that Marilyn Monroe learned, was from she Dorothy. was right. she was taught by Dorothy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Dorothy was the one who had Frank Sinatra's attention. Right. Dorothy was the one yeah. who had, like, she was the one who walked in the room and everybody be like. Who the fuck? Yeah, she do look like Holly Bird. Yeah, and Maryland, and Maryland, she like Holly Bird. If I was her age, if I was Maryland, seen her as like, damn, if yeah. I can just like vibe with her. Yeah. Yeah. Basically, same shit Elvis did. Like, Put I mean, this, is, on my this face. is a story that <laughs> it, it, I was about to say. Yeah. This is a story that goes right. through so many different fucking levels yeah. of entertainment. It don't make no sense. Shout out to you, Dorothy from the grave. Even I love that. I still give it a pipe, Dorothy. You get the pipe. Shut up. Don't look at me like that. I see you. I'll give it a pipe. Y'all got to understand. I am respectful. <laughs> Who? You. I, I, was I was looking for the bird, too. You got a bird? Wait. I what? was looking for the bird, too. Not my mama bird, Gina. A bird? <laughs> Not my mama bird. Wrap it up. You get my mama bird. They done killed the bird. Wait. Y'all killed the bird? Hey, hey. Hey, mama. Oh. Oh, I say I can't kill a bird. So I like the bird. The cage is in there. I like the bird. I like the bird. Yeah. What what you say? Most Ooh. meaningful tattoo, yeah. right quick. Most meaningful tattoo. Huh? Oh yeah, the owl. Yeah. Wait, I wanna you drunk know. All the champagne? Ask the question, shit, I wanna ask my fucking question. Shit. Oh, my, mo my most meaningful tattoo is my brain grenade on the back of my arm. 
right here. The brain grenade. And it says dangerous mind. Oh, that's oh, dope. That's dope. I like that. Yeah, so, so, that. so, 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 for those of us who want a tattoo, like, what's, what's the, what's the, what's the rate going? No. We got, we got, like, what we got I mean, do? I don't like to speak prices until I like to know what you want. Cause yeah. Some folks be like, I wanted to get this name, and you know, it's not going to be that big. Then they come in here, they a size 18, no disrespect to those that are 18, right. but you made me think you was a size 2. Now, a name on a size 2 compared you know to a my... name on a size 18, that's a different type of name. That's a, yeah, that's a, can, can that's a hour job, that's a three-hour job. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Can you work with somebody like skin no, like Can you... I tell you something? <laughs> so, my boo is blacker than your shirt. Word. Special like dark That nigga from Florida, ain't he? No, he not. He not but he a country nigga. Michael he Jordan. black as shit. Okay, so... I want a tattoo. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, what I got to do to get your tattoo? Just, little man Just make an appointment. Man. I got you. Okay. So... Don't be crying and shit, though. I ain't got no time to play with you. Don't be... You definitely gonna cry. I ain't got no time to be playing with you. Look, this is, this is my, this is my personal last nigga. question. Nah, but my dad my. is dark as you, too, and he got mad tats. This it don't look like. It's all about understanding contrast. Whoever the artist is, they gotta know contrast. That's it's, what determines, like, because some people think because you dark, you gotta make everything dark. That's the whole opposite way. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta use, use chalk. Contrast. Chalk. What's the album coming out? White chalk. <laughs> yeah. So I'm trying to put out the EP. Yes. December, January. December. That's next month. I know. December, okay. December or January. Listen, you got a couple it. things on there that I want to take off and I want to like switch up. So is DJ Shark producing any of your songs on tracks on there? DJ Shark has been in a session with me. <laughs> like <laughs> we be that's that no What's, what's, your, genre? what's your genre? <laughs> None. I got EDM, I got rap, I got singing, I got I don't wanna like put no diverse no box album. on it because right. If I was a rapper, I would say that, but I'm an artist. You yeah. sound like me. You sound crazy. Like, like everything you be saying. Oh, yeah. I just did Shut my... Up. You don't want to be boxing? I just did two features. I did a feature with The Baby, which is lit. Oh, shout out to The Baby. The shout boy, out to The Baby, The Baby, The Baby, The Baby. The, the, baby. Boy, the, the pimper? Yes. Did he the wear a pimper to the... Huh? To no. The, okay. Let me tell you something. That's a gimmick, but I'm going to tell you something about that dude. Right. That was like he, earlier. Hold on. That nigga is next. And he is going to be so big. Yeah, the really? baby is nice. He got. He got. He's a, going to be so fucking yeah. big, and I'm so grateful that he's my friend. Right. Like yeah. I'm so shout blessed. Baby. Shout out to the baby. Yeah, shout and out I the did baby. another feature with this um dude named Jinx. Like that feature money be good to me. So anybody yeah. need them features, let your girl know. <laughs> I, like I hate if I kill you on your own shit, but I'm kind of legit. Sure. Uh, What's your charge for a feature? It depends. Facts. Dimples and bars. You gotta let them know. Cause because let me tell you why it depends. If I hear a track and I'm like, Fuck, it's gonna be this shit hard. is so fire. fire yeah. And my heart is in it. Yeah. And the nigga don't got the budget. Yeah. I might do the shit yeah. just cause my heart is in it's it. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. right. See, that's right. the beauty of being an yeah. artist and not being driven by money. Yeah. It's Facts. not about the you bag. Free, you got yeah. I'm gonna freedom. get the bag regardless. Yeah. Freedom. I'll get the bag in here. Yeah. Like, I'm not tripping about where I'm going to get the bag. Yeah. Then I, I got mortuary school. I'll be done with 10 months. My yeah. funeral home, I'm not going to be worried about no bag. Shorty, yeah. shorty, shorty. Let me hear you sound. At all. Yeah. You about to you lie. About you about to lie. Yeah. The funeral home shit? Yeah. Baby, I did. The last body I did, he got shot 88 times in Chicago. My business Chicago. partner. Shout out to Belisha. Fuck and, Chicago. And Hicks Funeral Home. Um, That's where I do a lot of my interning. 88? 88 times, an AK know. ripped him from, I, I had one AK bullet rip him from the back of his butt to his knee and had to sew it up with fishing line just to embalm the body. Mm. So, yeah, it gets real. But let me tell you something about, okay. about the okay. beauty of that. Okay. They don't talk about you. They don't talk to you. They don't talk about you. And they don't ask you about reality TV. Right, right, right. It's amazing. It's amazing space to be in. I'm telling you. You ain't got to worry about nothing. And guess what? All of the people I got to take pictures with when I go on appearances and shit like that, I'm getting a bigger bag. Right. And I ain't have to get bothered by not yeah. one person. Right, right, right. Hey, yo, so peaceful. We, we, dope we, shit. Peaceful. We are and I'm going to tell you, that. the honest to God truth, the reason why I wanted to be a mortician is because I wanted... The reason why I wanted to um, do the, the mortuary science thing right. is because when people die, you want people to like really have closure. Right. Yeah. They can't have closure when they don't look like themselves. Who yeah. died in your life that made, that you that you touch my base with that? My grandmother. My grandmother. I didn't yeah. like how she looked. Yeah. My aunt, she was murdered with a hatchet. Like it's certain things that 
if you're a professional, you should be able to do it. Don't limit yourself. And I want to be that person that gives closure. Okay. Oh, shit. Who oh, cut shit. the speaker on? Huh? Woo! We just got into some deep shit. Y'all trying to yeah. move on? Look, we got to wrap it up. I we got to breathe for a second. You know what I mean? Hey. We gotta wrap it up. So shit. What, what time is it? We've been here for like we mad like long. We like the authenticity. Just smile, smile. We three minutes over. Speaking yeah. of that, oh, I'm yeah. about to go I want you to introduce again. the song. Wait, wait, hold up. Before they play it, do that again. Before they play it, hey yo, Dutch, introduce the song. Wait, can they pause it? This ain't it. I want you to introduce the song before we play it. Oh, she into um, it. Blueberry <laughs> waffle. Um, wait, what song is this? Oh, Sorry, now. I want you to be That's her oh, I, want, I want her to introduce it before we sign off. She just wants Fuck it. <laughs> we lie. All right, I'm about to play it. Yeah, what's this? No, they, they got it. This ESPN right here. Wait, wait, hold on. They just cut the, they, they just cut the song off. I did. No, I just started off. That was you on the phone? So you control on the phone? Cool. That's good. She control on the phone. All right. Yes, she did. Well, Yo, New York. introduce that song. Oh, so this right here is ESPN. Your girl touches a bank. You gotta oh, let these, okay. let, you gotta let these folks know sometimes they can get traded. They get traded. Yeah. Social media handle, all that. At yeah. touches a bank, at Pretty and Ink seven zero four. Follow your girl. Updates, music, all kind of good stuff. Anything y'all doing? Let your girl know. I like to support people in the community. All that. That's right. On the play. Yeah. Oh, oh, and my mom. Nah, they don't need to be in my mom's DMs. I might have to fuck nah. somebody up. I, I'm in your mom's DMs. <laughs> get, get touched. Are you get touched. Cross. <laughs> hey, cross. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Baby, <laughs> hey, yo, this is this is hey. No Advisory hey. Podcast, episode 51. It's your boy CEO McLean. It's your man. Hey, hey, hey. No. Go ahead. No, 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 I'm I forgot. I'm getting it was you. But you, I can't get traded. But I'm, but I'm, I'm not a trading block. You can't be the trading block. Hey, yo, let's end this fucking show. It's, it's your fuck. boy, P. Petty P in the building. Your girl, Shabba. Yo, you can you get got, traded. I got the number one okay, drop it. Baby, baby, I just want to be on the practice team. Don't trade me, goddamn.